pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to the workshop on the budget. Uh, so just to go over the nuts and bolts here, and Carla is with us in case uh, she needs to correct anything I state here, but here's where we are. On, I believe it was two Thursdays ago, and then uh, we'll call that set one. And last Monday, set two, Trustee Cormos had proposed amendments to the tentative budget. Uh, technically, we can't amend the tentative budget, as you said, because amendments to the physical tentative budget review by March 31st. So these are only amendments that can be effectuated into a final budget that are being proposed. We named the workshop tonight uh, to try to work through some of the issues that were from that. But on Friday afternoon, I submitted responses because some of the problems that existed were first off, it didn't balance. Second, uh, we had some uh, disagreements about some of the cuts, et cetera. And as I had stated in the last meeting, I was going to attempt to find funding to fill the holes of things that were being cut and kind of suggested that to the trustees this thought if I can find money, are you going to stand in the way of filling in those gaps? And it was kind of a uh, no, they wouldn't stand in the way of it from what I read from it, but you can disagree after I'm done with this. Friday night, a third set of amendments came from Trustee Cormos on the budget, which again did not uh, balance. Uh, and she's put out a, another version of the budget uh, that, Technically, we don't use that. We have to actually go through amendments, a list of amendments to the budget when we pass an ultimate budget. So my thought here is since we have two documents from Friday, we take them in chronological order, see where we can find agreement and keep a balanced system here because again, this budget has to be balanced. Uh, there have been conversations in the meantime with our accountant and with the controller's office, and I spoke with the same person that Liz had spoken with after multiple requests, uh, she finally let me know who it was and how to get in contact with them. And they were very helpful. In fact, uh, so helpful that we talked about the new setup with our treasurer uh, having to be replaced and our deputy treasurer who just started and making sure we get them the training they need. And we're gonna be uh, following up on that and getting them the resources they'll need ultimately for better municipal accounting knowledge uh, down the line. So it was very good, fruitful 45 minute conversation and call back actually with an additional uh, piece of information to help out with this whole thing. So having said all that, I would like to jump in if I can to see where we can find agreement with my statements from Friday in an attempt to rebalance the budget and find uh, some money. And I'll explain off the bat that where money was found was a few different sources. First off, there's a police uh, vehicle and there were two fire vehicles that were located on two lines, basically being funded twice. This was unintentional. The fire department, the police department believed that they were paying for them out of their lines. And somehow in last year's uh, debt schedule, they appeared there. So the payment from the debt schedule is in a separate line itself. So. There was about $30,000 worth of vehicles being double paid, uh, not physically, but on the budget's uh, number. So there's 30 grand, give or take. Uh, we also got a better estimate on workers' comp for this coming year, which uh, was allowing us to take another $24,000 down. And also a $6,000 slick uh, networks contract for a lay down yard in Malta uh, that we're finishing up right now. Uh, then, on top of it, in reviewing Trustee Cormos's uh, amendments, she was using some of the Woods Hollow money to pay for this current year's park expenses uh, to the tune of about $49,100, I think it was, and which is fine, but what didn't happen was a corresponding revenue 
affiliation with that. So there was $49,100 to little revenue being shown for that maneuver. And so when you add all that together, you're in the vicinity of about $110,000 of additional budgetary room per se. That allowed us to refund, uh, as most people know the story by now, the union fire company apron. Uh, we'll talk about that more in a second about specific numbers and many of the cuts that came along. Now, I, Could I, um... now Trustee Cormos went to recut some of those things despite the finding of money. And that's where the Friday night amendments came in. Well, my list of amendments are after your um, memo here of finding you know, dollars, which very appreciative that we could find additional dollars. And um, I believe on the uh, schedule of amendments, uh, you know, we accept all of the revenue adjustments we both agreed on on those, um, uh, but you know on on where that extra money went, we disagreed. And I'd like to just give you an overview on the attached budget amendments. They uh, will put funds towards fixing our water and sewer system, our parks, our streets, and sidewalks, while keeping the same tax rate as the tentative budget. What it will do is start using wet water revenues for future infrastructure needs by spending 123,500 of ARPA funds for the Geyser Road water generator in 2024 and funding a capital reserve for water infrastructure with a small amount, 159 to start for the Jones Street water tower. Both of those projects are in our long range plan for water and sewer. The, I believe also that any increases in water profits that we get based on the work we'll do with the revenue committee should be directed towards this capital fund, which will fund uh, water improvements. Also, I suggest we transfer about $200 from fund balance for a building repair reserve for essential repairs to village hall and other village buildings, which could include the firehouse and future building improvements. These are reserve funds, which are basically specific savings accounts for specific purposes. Um, also dedicate, as Frank has said, net proceeds from Woods Hollow or any other logging revenue to a reserve uh, fund for permanent improvements and repairs related to parks, trails, and public trees. Um, the estimated uh, amount that we're going to get from uh, Milton is at least $360,000, less, as Frank said, the 49100 uh, 49, that we can spend, that I'm assuming we would spend this year to cover um, Kelly Park and building improvements and a park and tree, and also start to put money towards repairing sidewalks that are damaged by trees, that are damaged by public trees. Um, uh, Non-essential discretionary uh, expenses uh, were actually bumped a little. They weren't brought all the way up to the level that they were requested but our, um, they, they now get uh, asked and uh, the, the mayor's task force gets 139% increase for their projects as compared to 2023. They did ask for a 362% increase, which is rather um, excessive. Our total cultural and recreations, which includes the four parks, the pool, BACC, Barks, Senior Center, and the Historian, rose 41%, that whole category gets 41% more money than 2023 versus the 76% um, request. The only other department with a high increase was transportation at 30%, where we set aside $40,000 for sidewalk repair. Are we ready to get to work? No, I am not finished yet. Well, it's a workshop. I am not <laughs> finished yet. I'll finish up soon. There were no changes in DPW expenditures, sewer fund, or library. You're, you're oh. talking about a document right now that would be the second up tonight. Okay, so, uh, let, would you talk please about the first let document? me finish? Yeah, I think so. As ahead. we've seen, the, the funds were increased for arts and celebrations and community beautification. There's some minor changes in home and community service and um, the creation of the reserves, 200 for um, building repairs, 123.5 for the geyser wall generator in 2024. Water reserve starting with 159.5, 
to finance the water tower and the and creation of a park and tree with the proceeds from the Woods Hollow. Funds were restored for police, the fire, the fire department, including the 57.5 for the sidewalk replacement. They were uh, restored for publicity, Iron Spring Wiswall, Kelly Park, including the 6,000 for paving, Bark, and the senior center from the last, what you saw last Monday. So those all got back restored to what, the tenant. What's the size for paving, by the way? I don't want to lose sight of that because- well, Could you not idea. interrupt me, please? Well, a fund balance- things that aren't true. Will you not interrupt? I, I, Liz, we'd like to get to work. I would like to finish my work. statement. This is a workshop. It's I don't a, care. It's a village meeting. meeting. Village trustees have the right to speak. Will you let me finish and then we'll get to work? Okay. okay, a fund balance should be no more than about 25% of total revenues with the rest put into reserves and other funds for infrastructure and permanent improvement. Our reluctance to set aside funds has led to a high fund A balance, currently approaching 80% of expenditures, which is one reason that we'll find it difficult to get grants because we look like we have too much money. Bob Fox recently stated to me that he thought about 50% fund balance was appropriate. So we're 30% over even what Bob said. And this said. is based on what your conversation was with, with Would you stop about? interrupting, please? And no, I won't, because I, I'm at the Excuse point where me. I have to also make sure you've given your sources correctly. Bob, I talked to Bob. I asked him what the fund balance should be, and he said, for us, around 50%. He also said the use of reserves is a board policy decision. So that's up to the board. The amendments will lower our unrestricted fund balance from almost 80% to 50% by reserving funds for future needs and will make us more attractive to grant. The tax increase is exactly the same as in the tentative budget. You know what it is. I suggest the newly established revenue committee investigate a fire tax schedule to provide consistent income from village residents for this essential service. Relying on building improvements will not adequately fund the, the department in the future years because they're making lots of repairs. There'll be less and less repairs to make. The village will continue to be responsible for the buildings. I suggest we move expenditures for the fire department buildings to the government services line, similar to what's done for village hall and the police buildings. And then we take responsibility for maintaining those buildings. They do belong to us. Thank you. So over the controller today, uh, just to, I guess, go back or forward here, but uh, the controller's office is where there was a disagreement from Liz on some of the policies moving forward about fund balances, reserves, et cetera. And so I want to clarify because Bob Fox is giving us one set of ideas and thoughts about what to do here moving forward. And the controller apparently was giving us others. And, uh, I'm going to read down my notes here just to keep everybody on the same page. Um, he stated, yes, we do need a fund balance policy that we lack. Um, basically look at it to see if we want to do a fixed dollar amount or a range that is only for unrestricted fund balance. Without reserves, you will need a higher unrestricted fund balance is uh, his statement. Uh, excessive fund balance, uh, there are four options to deal with it. Establish reserve funds and fund them if you uh, know you need certain reserves. Use for one-time expenditures. Pay off debt early, but make sure you're paying it uh, for the right tax base. So if you're doing a sewer debt, you have to pay it from sewer funding. If you're doing a library debt, you have to pay it from library funding, et cetera. Or reduce property taxes slash not increase them. That's kind of the last option if you really have no need for the money and you're reserving money. Uh, he recommended us before making uh, reserves to speak with our village attorney on each one uh, because he's concerned about the lockbox approach and underscored this fact. Uh, we need to basically prove why the reserves are needed and the maximum funding for each reserve. Reserves generally are continuous. They should not be used for single repairs. Again, consult the attorney. Uh, there's uh, Liz had some confusion, he said, with uh, reserve funds. There is no transfer necessary because it's all in the same fund. You don't transfer out of the fund into the same fund. Uh, only a journal entry uh, occurs, not a transfer. $360,000 for Woods Hollow would go to fund balance, but for budget purposes, you could either use contingency or uh, another method, and then you call me back on something so you 
that in a second. But at the end of the day, what you got to do is to show 360 of intake on revenue for what's hollow, you have to show an expense or an expense type line to balance it. Otherwise, you don't balance your budget. And so he called me back and stated that the thing to do is on the other side of it, put it into a line called 962, which is called budgetary provisions for other uses. And that line is essentially for when you don't have a reserve fund or reserve account, you're basically saying we're sending this to fund balance to at least appreciate the fact we have an expense type line there and also appreciate that we don't have a reserve for it at, at this point in time. He would not set up a park and tree fund or any other reserve fund with seed money. Uh, for instance, with respect to Woods Hollow, he said, wait for the sale to occur, get the money from that sale and then do the reserve at that time. And obviously if the money's going to fund balance, then you can move it from fund balance into the reserve once created. Uh, resolution, so if they audit us, a resolution is required to be shown for the audit uh, to the controller's office, drafted by an attorney using the proper GML section, which is general municipal law that authorizes that reserve, uh, showing what the maximum funding level is, the duration of the reserve, et cetera. So you can't just move to make one. You have to have resolutions that are according to law all the way. Otherwise, they will be invalidated in terms of reserve accounts when we're audited. And you cannot set this up quickly before the next uh, start of the next fiscal year, in his opinion. There's no reason to rush these now. Uh, he said take some months and do them right by identifying what your needs are specifically and some of the issues you may run into. Because once you set a reserve account, even a repair reserve account, he said, uh, then you can't get that money out of it except with some very, very small exceptions that, again, consult your attorney in these types of situations. Carl, I know you popped off and I'm going to re-promote your panelists uh, at this point. Um, so let's give her a second to pop back over to the right spot there. I think that works, I think. Give me one second, let's just uh, get this to work. Okay. Well, you're dismissing the idea of creating reserves. I went to the controller, asked him to and, give us information. And I heard exactly something quite different where he said, if we have excess unrestricted fund, the thing to do is create reserve funds. If you know that you will spend at least that amount of money to for that purpose. Okay. And we're looking at a park and tree fund of $360,000, where we already have, we know we have at least $300,000 for the pool to repair it. We have at least $150,000 to, to do will, redo Wiswall. We have numerous projects for Kelly Park, and we'd like to do more for, for Victory. So we will easily use that money. For building repair? You, 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 didn't apparently, no, you didn't apparently hear what I said. His advice literally was, you would not set up this fund prematurely with seed money. Wait for sale to occur, get money from the sale, and then do the yes, reserve. But we can put it in the budget because with, the budget is a plan. You're, put, you're putting in the budget as A962, appropriations and provisions for other uses, because it would go to the fund balance first, and then we would create the reserve next. And then from there, you can do the transfer to fund that reserve account. There is an order to this because if you're showing reserve accounts that don't exist, then there are nullities essentially on the budget. He's saying, make sure you're accounting for things with existing lines and then be prepared to make the moves of your money at that point in time. It's really not that difficult to understand what he's getting at with this. Yeah, it's six of one half dozen of them. And no, well, it's, it's, it's irrelevant. It, it is relevant because it's legality. And Carla, if you want to pipe well, in on that one at all, go well, ahead. Well, we want Carla, Carla set up two reserves for the fire department, right? No, she set up one reserve for the fire department. I thought there were two. She gave two options. Two <laughs> options, okay. So she set up a specific reserve for the fire truck. You right? a, Are you wearing a cast on your arm there? <laughs> no, my hands are cold. They're actually okay. my hands. Okay. I, I seem to remember there were two, one which was restricted to the truck, specific for that piece That's of equipment. That's the one we used. We used a, a specific, specific 
But then if they have additional funds that aren't needed for the truck, they didn't set, she didn't set up a a general reserve. Okay. But you can set up. I don't set anything up. I want to be clear. I'm not setting anything up. I'm drafting it. You're all setting it up. Yes, we're setting it up. Okay. But a repair reserve does not require a permissive referendum. The money can be transferred to a capital reserve. That is later. not what he stated today. Well, that's what it states in their manual. He, he stated that you have to be very careful and to consult with your attorney specifically. I know we will today. consult with our attorney. Hi, attorney. And yeah, be very careful is kind of wishy washy. Um, it's not definitive. Something written in a document, that's definitive. So, Sean, what's your accounting background? <laughs> Um, I don't have an accounting background. I didn't want to be an accountant. I want to be an engineer. And, but I understand when something's in writing, it's, it holds more weight than a verbal statement. Right, but it has to be in compliance with laws. And that was the other part of this. That it has so to you're saying what the comptroller has written is not in compliance with its own laws. I, is that the statement you're making? I'm stating that the comptroller today <laughs> stated that repair accounts reserves are not automatically something you can just move money around on. He said there are uh, cases where you can do it, but you have to be careful with them and consult with your attorney. He wouldn't give advice beyond that because Comptroller's office is not in the business of giving legal advice at the end of the day. Yeah, Can't blame him. He said to me too, we have to work with the attorney to set these up. But he said every almost every single document that they talk about this issue of un- unrestricted re- reserves recommends that you turn them in, turn that money into reserve funds for specific purposes. And that's what we're trying to do. For specific and you can purposes. Take and put it into capital. But wait, 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 Carla, correct me if I'm wrong. There's, that's still a type of type reserve, isn't it? Not a specific, unless you have a specific project. There are two types. Right. Of I, I, let's go to a the specific attorney. one and a type reserve. What we're talking about here are type reserves. Okay, to, well, you're using dis- specific and you're using type interchangeably and that you can't do that. That's what I'm trying a to make sure. A type reserve is not for a specific piece of equipment. Or project. Or project. It's for an area to spend money, like building improvements. Okay, so attorney that would have to draft things what is yes. your what is your view since we only have one reserve account currently and that is for specific to fire trucks which by the way we have to go back and fund now because i believe our 30 days is uh expired. I think the 30 days expired the 14th yep so we have to go back and fund that at this point with the money that uh was already being rolled into lines we'll figure that out um i thought you weren't going to decide how much to put into that until the aud was fine I think the resolution, and I don't have it in front of me, but the resolution identified the specific amount of money, the maximum that would be in there. The maximum is $2 million, I think. The, okay. the funding that we're talking about is what we rolled back in from fund balance into their lines to protect that money. And so now the intent was to take that money as the first money in, and then AUD process later on to identify what their oh. profit was. So you're doing that for the fire department, but you wouldn't do it. For other uses. Because it's their money, Liz. That's... Uh, excuse me, their money is under well, is the a, village umbrella. Village so it's their money, Liz. And it is their money from town funds they, that's going to be audited. Are they a distinct entity from the village? Uh, they are special in so far as they're the only ones that have an obligation to actually be audited on their account by external folks known as the towns that are funding them. Well, I don't see the distinction. I have no problem with the fire company having. So you're not going to give them. You're not going to put the 125 or whatever it is. No, I have on. no problem with it. But you, you do the same for these other reserves. Liz, we don't have a specific amount of money that we know right now is attributed. Amounts of money. We know what theirs up. is because we just moved it into lines. Well, we know what's all of, for example. I mean. We- We've identified some funds. Yeah. Right. And he said with Woods Hollow, close the deal, create the reserve, well, we move the re- money. Well, it's I, not, it's I, not that difficult. I don't see why I can't re- create the reserve now. Just put some seed money in. He said, don't do that. Did he say why? Yes. He said that there's no reason to go set up an account until you know you're going to have your base funds for that account. 
Well, we're going to know we have the base funds from Milton. We have a letter of memo of intent. So we know it, that we're going to get that money from. That's a non-binding document and Carla's shaking her head. <laughs> well, you've been pushing that deal. So I think we're going well, to do it. It's not certain until it's done, but we'll either do that or we'll get the forest money. Right, but that's Hopefully. 120. Right. Well, then, we, then we'll put that in instead. Yeah. So we're going to make money on Woods Hollow. And I well, think that the, the general feeling about Woods Hollow is that it is a park owned by the village and that funds from the sale of a park should be put into a like use. I don't think anybody here has actually said no absolutely to that. Do I think that all that money should be going willy-nilly into a park fund without more specificity to it? No, I think that there should be some attribution to Wiswall Park for the master plan, et cetera. And you want to willy-nilly put it in contingency. That's pretty willy-nilly. No, actually, Liz, it was going to contingency because we don't have a reserve fund to put it in. So we so had that's to, what uh, we're we, trying to create. So we had to balance the budget somehow. And so when we talked about it today, he said, here's how actually I would balance it. I wouldn't use contingency, Frank. Here's what I would do. I put it in 8962. A962 called budgetary provisions for other uses that allows us to balance okay, we that can money. Do that, and then we can move it. That's we can there agree on that. There we go. In okay. The, the, ground. the mo yeah, the motion I sent said basically request the village's legal counsel to draft resolutions to establish the following funds. So obviously there'll be discussion about those resolutions and the timing of them, but it just gets the ball rolling. And uh, we can all do more homework on what should be in those resolutions and what kinds of funds and how to get it going. Which is timing. correct. And that's, that's why he so, said, this is not something you do in two weeks. This is something you do over a matter of a few months, make sure you're doing them correctly, that you're not trapping money improperly so that later on your stocking can't get it out for the purposes you may need it for. We've not, these amounts right. of money are, are not even enough to fund to our needs. Justify your description of a type fund. Um, we don't have to name every project. No, but every project will be subject to permissive referendum. Not for repair reserve. Carla? I, I don't know that to be the case. Um, I, I do need to apologize. As you know, I've been out away until today. So I, I just learned about this meeting. I'm just kind of getting into this. Welcome back. <laughs> yes, thank you. Well, um, and so uh, with respect to you know, reserve, repair, reserve accounts. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what you'd be funding, what needs to be repaired. Generally, you just create equipment accounts, not repair accounts. But again, I don't know. I don't want to speak um, just off the top of my head. So I would I would request the ability to research that um, and make sure that I'm giving you the proper legal advice. But with respect to capital reserve accounts, and equipment accounts, um, yes, those do. If you are creating a type account, they any um, removal of funds from that account is subject to permissive referendum if the expenditure has a um, probable usefulness um, under the local finance law of five years or more. Yeah, I, I can quote from the, the, the manual that the comptroller has on repair. Right, but I'd like the law that's just that that's stated there. Yeah, well, it says to pay for certain repairs to capital improvements or equipment, the type of repairs must not reoccur annually or shorter intervals. No referendum requirement resolution appropriating monies requires a public hearing plus five days. That's so, from there. So the only, the only uh... but is that for villages, towns, cities? Yes. Urban? Yep, it's on their chart. So the only repair we have currently of magnitude is this building. And that was what he said, if it's imminent to be done, which it is, and you aren't necessarily specific as to the amount of money it's gonna cost, which we have a 144 estimate from Lance and Kosh there from um, Labella, okay. and soft costs probably up to about 170 is what it seemed like it was saying. So if you go stick $200,000 into this fund, just to do an immediate repair, you're technically putting at risk $30,000 you might not need to, and you're doing it imminently. So <laughs> this idea is, hey, go just put it into your line for what you'd be appropriating out of fund balance for this project for this year. Because again, his uh, statement was 
Reserves generally are continuous. They should not be used for single repairs. And currently, this is the only one we've identified as a building repair. We, we're probably, although we don't know for sure either way right now, replacing somehow, police and court, replacing somehow DPW. So that's not repair. Uh, no, se. it's, well, I think we have more repairs. Just the fire department alone has, has repairs that we could set aside the funds to, to put in next year. I mean, right, but the whole idea raising, of reserves. If you're reserves, raising fire money, then you're starting to convolute whose money's whose and what's for what at that point. So mm -hmm. you almost have to create a separate reserve count for fire building improvements to be no. careful there. Because if you're raising a tax for fire purposes, but you're using it for village buildings, We're you're not, not really doing That's it for not fire. The idea. It? That's not the idea. We are responsible for the buildings, right? So it's not a fire tax. No, the fire tax is for fire services. So I think the, and Mike, correct me if I'm wrong, Mike Bayshore is here for those that can't see on camera. Uh, the whole intention of trying to get a fire fee of some sort for the firehouse, for firehouses, fire department, was to essentially give funding for operations or trucks in some way, not necessarily just building improvements. Was that my understanding or incorrect? Well, I guess it's hard to say. It, it could be used for anything as far as I was concerned, but but I, I agree that there's there's a way to do this. Like she mentioned, if you just take over all the village buildings and put them into one thing and then we never worry about it coming out of the fire department budget, you know, that is that we should way. we should have a fund simply for buildings and grounds. And include the firehouses in that, then we just don't ever. If we have a building problem, we just Report send it to it. the board, tell you exactly. Right. I think because and you guys can determine how you do that, right? And I think that's the way to do it because using buildings as a way to give you extra money doesn't really make sense. Because you know, the last few years, yeah, we've been spending it, but eventually, you know, there's going to be only a little bit and. It doesn't address the issue of village residents paying their fair share for fire services. So you're, so you're going to raise a tax that's actually not specifically a fire tax? No, it's, I, we have to work. I, I'm not saying we're doing it this moment, but I'm saying the Revenue Committee should study this, should look at what the village is actually putting into the fire services, you know, accounting services, et cetera, you know, some sort of calculation of, of if they were an independent district and they wanted to stay here, they would probably pay some sort of rent. And um, I think what this all boiled down to was the original conversation regarding the town of Boston wanting to see basically hey, gonna carve okay, the, the skin, yeah. Yeah. skin in the game by us. And I think this is kind of a result of that, that have some sort of fee schedule so that we're showing we have skin in the game. If just us maintaining and providing the buildings isn't enough value for them. That, now that, I don't know if that's been assessed. If, our, if they're saying us providing housing, the fire departments and maintaining those buildings through our budget. So the, the, the key was we, they don't want to see us using their money for that aspect, that that's where right, it came right. from. So you wouldn't Boston that. had it in their contract. Milton will put it in there. It's right. most likely yeah. next is what they. So we us. couldn't. We wouldn't want the the fire fees to go into a generic building repair. No, um, no, they're not. That's no, separate. That's, it should be buildings and grounds. Whether that's a fund, whether that's a line item in DPW or government services, and that also allows us flexibility. That if we budget for uh, all the buildings, and one building all of a sudden has a garage door ripped off it, and maybe we can wait one year on something else, we have more flexibility if we have that in a buildings and grounds budget to use it on buildings and grounds rather than specifically designated to each department. But doubles advocate, hey, you didn't put anything toward fire uh, this year or last year, this is Paul St. Milton mm -hmm. presumably saying it. Where's your skin in the game? That's the fire fee. 
But if the fire bee is going into a generic building repair, no, that's, it's not. Yeah, the fire you got, fee got, is going. Concern. That's exactly the fire I, I, I think fee what's happening goes is they're into mixed. their. Right. If, that's my personal opinion. And their the, revenue. Where I, what I would think if a fire tax was instituted in the village, those funds would go towards operations and equipment. Right. Um, for example, in not too far down the road, we're going to have to buy a ladder truck that's going to cost $2 million. Yep. We're not going to have a reserve built to $2 million by then. And we're going to need increased funding for that. And I, you know, yeah. it would be beneficial if the village taxpayers were part of that solution. That's, okay, instead of just mm -hmm. the two towns. That's exactly what um, the concept and that's their is. Concern and, and, and that's my we, that, that totally makes sense. Yeah. And we right. can work on the revenue committee to look at what, and, you know, as you said, when I suggested 50 cents, that was just an indication of what, how many dollars that would represent. That was not a proposal to put that in place today. Um, we need to study it, see how much we are, the value of what we provide. And compare that to what out of village residents are paying for the very same service that we're getting. Okay, so uh, at this point, I want to go back to square one, <coughs> go through the Friday noon time email for me, go through the lines here, make see where we have agreement, disagreement, then from there go to things that she had additionally or later on try to add, subtract, whatever, and see what we come up with, with a dollar figure as to where we're imbalanced or how at this point. Is that fair? Well, let's just start with revenue because um, I think we agree I, on all those. Well, let me, let's me just go down the yeah. document yeah. real quick. Okay. If it's there, that great, easy. I just wonder if we wanted to resolve the reserve fund piece. Is well, that going to impact this budget if we have reserve funds or not? In no. Terms of not well know. it it does on the last line on appropriations from from uh fund balance but that could be adjusted to mm -hmm. whatever we decide because so, anyway yeah we knew that we, we sort of had this long conversation about reserve funds right. i don't know yeah, yeah, well we that's why i said we were kind of going back yeah, I know. Forward this <laughs> but i but i guess i'm comfortable with um the concept of a park and tree reserve repair reserve fund and a water infrastructure capital reserve fund even a building repairs or because there's always going to be building repairs, even if we get a new building um, and our fund balance it, it's just best practice to have these reserve funds when you have this huge fund balance or general fund. Um, it shows people that we're not uh, collecting more money than we can use it shows that we need the money, how we intend to use the money, but you do realize that we're going to be let's say all of our USDA loans went in right now mm -hmm. we'll have $3 million of debt against $4.2 million of fund balance. And so you are somewhat naked in that situation if you start forcing money out just for the sake of forcing it out and you end up having to start paying loan payments out of fund balance and you're upside down your, uh, on your budget at that point later on for whatever reason. Well, no, well we the have two, is how much two, are you paying two million year, of that total. is covered by fire revenues. No, it's a nine hundred thousand dollar truck. It's oh the no well, so well the, the one million USDA will cover that. The loan for, I'm right. saying, but then you're going to have to start making payments and you know, additional payments on top of that for other things that come along. So you've got three million dollars worth of debt against four point two million dollars. My point to you is be careful what you're just pushing into lock boxes for the sake of doing it, because if you do that and you need to dive back into fund balance for loan payments. And you can't well, get to that money, then what? I'll point out to you. That's that's okay. gonna be a question I'll probably for future boards, in that we have to make sure we're not kind of screwing up on them on that type of situation. In in this right. budget, Again, there was a projected our biggest chunk is gonna be water. And obviously putting as a, a developing a water reserve fund is is imperative. Right. I realize with the schism we have now where it's all or nothing. And it would create a massive tax increase as a result if we put all the water revenue in. Right. Now, did you read the note, though, about water reserves specifically and the issues you have because of the fact that we have some systems, system wide projects, about three ish million dollars mm -hmm. worth of system wide projects, and about 14 ish million dollars of village specific projects. And the way that we're going to attack those for financing, if we're going for 
a special assessment, for instance, with customers at some point, you have to do it if it's a village project with village specific assessment in a village specific capital reserve, because if you don't, you could be accused by the towns or the residents of the town that you're serving that you're using their funds for village projects. And that has actually, according to Bob, and Carly, I don't know if you are aware of this, but some towns have sued villages and won successfully for misuse of their funds for village specific projects. We're starting with 159,500 in that fund. That is a very small number and clearly is nowhere near to what we've got to spend. So that, you know. I think it's safe to get started on these reserve funds. Yeah. You know, well, it's it's safe to get started in terms of the concepts of what exactly we're doing with them. What is the purpose? Is it a type? Is it a uh, specific? And what our maximum is, what the duration is, what the intent is. Those are things we have to define in these things each time. So yes, I agree with that. It's just, there seems to be everybody on fire here. Sorry, Mike. Uh, trying to get these things done within two weeks. And that's again, even the weeks, controller so said, don't don't try that trick because you're gonna regret doing that. Mm-hmm. Well, we if we put it in the budget and we don't implement it until you know, I mean we still have a, a, the money is first. the money is still there no matter what. It's either it, this is all money affecting fund balance at the end of the day, realistically. Yeah. So it's there. You don't have to do anything specific. You can mid-year say, okay, we're going to do this reserve fund. We did it with fire. We didn't wait for a budget period at that point with fire to say we're well, creating it. I, I so, think this, although putting it in this year's budget shows our intent to do this. I think your intent's pretty clear from the 82 times we've talked about this. Well, I mean, let's go through I'm, let's I'm, go through the line. I guess what I'm saying is I'm comfortable with a motion that says something like this, that we request the village's legal counsel to draft resolutions to establish the following funds. But then she's and gonna so say, she, yeah, hi, she, I'm gonna draft resolutions, yeah. but I need more information right, okay. from you. And right, work on that. so then she'd say, these are the issues or questions I have for you for this fund and for that fund and for the next fund. And she would research it and we would research more, but she'd start that process and get it going and just indicate our intention to create reserve funds and move us one step closer. So, um, so Carla, would, you, would you like to address your thought on that? Because it will impact you. And maybe it can't be done by June 1st, but it, you know, you get to get it started. Yeah. I can draft anything the board asks me to draft, but I, I'm not quite sure what you want on this and why you're calling things repair reserve funds versus capital reserve funds versus type versus specific. Um, uh, what I would request perhaps if we want to do this moving forward is that the board provide me um, with the information for each fund before I draft up a resolution and then ask you questions. That way, um, you know, you can tell me we want to fund for this. We want oh. to have this much money in it. We, this is, you know, this is the purpose of the fund. It's a type fund or it's a specific fund. Um, and that, that way I can keep that information. Well, well the, motion, the motion provides a, a type, I guess, and a purpose, a general purpose. And then that just sort of gives you initial directions, you know, and then you would come back to us with these are the things that you need to fill in the blanks, which would be amounts and maybe tweaking the wording of something or whatever. But I, you know, in the fire fund, there, there's very specific funding or uh, wording. And this is a specific reserve. Yeah, well, yeah. no, We're but in, in, on a number, number of levels, it's very specific. And so once you, you drafted that, it would become clear to us, this, these are the questions we need to answer. Um, but we are now working on this reserve fund. Um, and so I think it'd be helpful to, to just, I don't, you know, whether we need a motion or we just agree um, with Carla that if you could, uh, so the motion as I've written it is, is a draft, you know. Well, why don't, why don't, it's, it's just a same of the reading of it. Why don't we let her sleep on the questions she'll want from us? Okay, so any questions 
baseline questions, Carla, that you'll well, need from well, us. Let, so you give you'll give her basically your list right there. Okay. But she has the email. Let's yeah. let's it doesn't hurt to make the motion because it's just asking requesting the village's leave council to draft resolutions to to establish the following funds. So we're not signing the resolution, we're not finalizing, it just says please do this, Carla. So she has clear uh instructions and directions, whatever, from about how to, you know, what we're intending. So you you have it in front of you. I'll just I'll read it. Motion made by second to request the village's leave council to draft resolutions to establish the following funds. I don't know if funds is the right word. Maybe it's accounts. It's, it's reserves. 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 You don't use the reserve fund. Right. Many people well, use it. Carly used reserve fund in her. It's, a, it's a reserve right. account. Sorry, all right. Carl. All right. <laughs> so and then all right. So to establish the following reserves: park and tree repair reserve for the purpose of accumulating monies to finance the cost of repairs to village. Parks, trees, trails, sidewalks damaged by village trees. Water, so that's one. There's water, what about, water. What about the pool? That's parks. Parks, that's what parks. That's it's part of the parks. That's a parks. That is I would, but I would, if you intend pool to be a big chunk of it, I would specifically put into that okay. we'll say pool park. because if that's draining half your fun, <laughs> you better have a specific okay. name right. of that right. happening, okay. that okay. being part of the type. Sure. Okay. Parks, so parks, pool. Pool. Is that head, can I ask a question? Here? Sure. Why are we linking creating these reserves to passing a budget? Because it's, it's being not necessary. necessary. It is not necessary. You're trying to do it with funds you don't even have yet because you haven't sold a piece of property. Why are we holding up a budget to create reserve accounts when the money's still going to be there? Because I don't understand. Because this. a budget shows your intent and your plans. And the comp I asked him that. That doesn't require and you to create a reserve fund to do that. You've already stated your intent. It's in writing. You don't need to create a reserve to show intent. Well, it shows more intent when yeah. you create right. that. Also, I mean, what did the controller yeah. say? He said you should show any intent in your budget if you are going to transfer funds, including transfer for fund balance. That's what he told me. So. This is transferring from fund balance to a reserve. We should show it in the budget. You, you realize it sits in the same fund, right? It doesn't. It shows I'm just, the just intent. Just making sure you understand that. It shows the intent to spend that money for a specific purpose. And, and you're aware, I, I, I want to make sure everyone understands, these, these are all good ideas. Um, it's always good to have like a, you know, for lack of a better term, savings account. But these are restricted funds. You cannot create this now and in a year realize you don't need it and then just take it all out and put it right, back in right. the balance. We know that. We know it, that. We know it, that. We're oh, not okay. I'm this. just making sure. <laughs> We're not, we have probably a hundred million dollars worth of funds that we need in the next 15 years. No. No. All right, all right. Just, yeah, in 30 years, it was 55 plus. Right, the, yeah. yeah. Oh, 50, it, okay, it, not 100. 30, 30 years. This doesn't have to be a huge push or issue, but 30, 30 I think. 30 million and 15 is probably more. Close. Yeah, but it's I think 24 and yeah. about 10. But I, I think yeah. I would find it helpful. Give it's going to cost more than they say. I would find it helpful <laughs> to, <laughs> to, uh, to make up this motion and, and see if people want to pass it. And then Carla just works on these resolutions because. Because she's got nothing else to do. Because she's got nothing else to do. <laughs> okay. But it's it, it, it. I think it's time. We have such a large fund balance, and we have all these needs. And we want so to apply for grants, and they're going to look at our so, our fund balance. You're right. We have go, to be mindful of the debt and mindful of the future needs, possibly. Yes. Of, so we don't want to over deposit in these reserves. That is true. But I don't think we're in danger of that at this point. Yeah, well, the, I here, asked here's the a controller. Danger. You cannot may, may I answer that for a second? And I'm being fully legitimately honest when I say this. One of the things we're going to run into later on in life here in the village is the build out the debacle, which is you can't create easily more funds and property taxes, you'll hit a certain ceiling where the residents aren't going to be able to afford it anymore. We're, hopefully we never hit Scotia's number because that's crazy at $15 per thousand over there. But then what starts happening is you have this debt. How are you going to pay for the debt if you've got to still pay for operations? And that's where fund balance is going to kick in. It's going to have to kick in at a certain point to fund at least some of your payments at some point. And that's the but danger. The reserve no. funds could do that if they're spec specified 
to pay that like debt. For water. Yeah, <laughs> and you shouldn't you shouldn't count on but your. But we don't just have water. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to pop in. I'm sorry. Go for it. You cannot pay debt with reserve funds. It, it, depending on the kind of reserve fund you're doing, you cannot use them to pay debts. That that's there's a debt, debt reserve. There's a debt payment reserve fund. So we're creating one of those two. Not now, but we can move do we can move dollars from a capital reserve to a debt service once we have the debt. Yes, there, there are reserve funds for just about everything. Right, but you can't just move that money to a debt service. I believe you can. Uh, so this is, this so needs to be looked at. Yeah, this is the research, and that's why this motion doesn't have a sign on the dotted line. It just gets the process started, which I think is is good to do. It's good we're having this conversation. It doesn't commit us to. I, I, doing I'm just anything. not comfortable even committing to a motion. She knows what our intent is. Let's give her. No, I'd like to. Do the the motion. Motion. Let's give her the assignment here to, per se to begin looking at it and getting it, getting us the details, getting us the correct info on it before we go a little too far afield here and then realize, oh, fraud, we're wasting our time. Well, that sort of thing. I mean. I, I guess we could give her some time. Yeah. Um, Thank you. But we should set some sort of milestone to see time wise. You're talking. Yeah, time wise. Yeah. Then if maybe we're... by the uh, first meeting in May, which um, is the what? I think. No, that's too early. For... Well, just. For... No, he, he's, not saying, he's not saying he's not saying documents. He's saying information. Information. Okay. If we're not going to form that a, allows her to do some research. A repair, yeah, no, I, I get that. I repair so. reserve fund for the the village okay, hall. No, why don't we now go to the line items from well, start to finish here? Well, I think that's where we need to go. I, I'd like to just say to Carla, I think a Carla, park going away yet. <laughs> I think a park and tree repair reserve. Repair reserve or reserve. Repair. Repair reserve. reserve? Yeah. Repair reserve. Repair, yeah, no, it's repair because that's a specific kind of thing that doesn't require a permissive referendum. You have to build a new gazebo in Wiswell Park. You can transfer a repair reserve to a capital reserve. That doesn't exist. You form one. Do you realize what you're going to cost yourself in accounting to no. for this? <sighs> Everything yeah. is always... Well, I I it's, think this is best practice. Right? Yeah, it is. To have these yeah. Well, at the end of the day, almost every other village does this. Not yeah. not all these. Yeah. Town, towns do these more than villages do. I'll tell you that. Well, okay. I look somehow the their AUDs. budget survives. I their accounting budget isn't blown I mean, out of proportion. It was so very alarming. Let's not be dramatic. Yeah, it was very alarming to me that like for a period of time we didn't know where our ARPA funds were or how much we had. We still like, don't. It took a long. No, time. we actually we do. We we the work to do research, Liz, in the village but, offices or the staff that I oversee and <laughs> you know, for the finances that you oversee. And what right. we learned is, yes, indeed, they are in fund balance. And we have traced the minutes for right. two years to see right, what right. was but, spent. And we have to put a report in on April 30th anyway. So, right. so good time. Like, but it's very I'd difficult. Like you to share that with the board. <laughs> right. That Because be I'd like to know. About 300000 was the correct right. answer. All right. So right. Just like use exactly. an example where it's helpful to know, all right, there's 300 in park reserve, park and tree repair reserve. That's what we have to spend. For the and with, res future. with respect to one ARPA category, for instance, Laberge, you put 45 aside for, mm -hmm. technically it's 30 now. And so we kind of have to reassess, are we going to pair that back to 30 for accounting and auditing purposes on that? Uh, <coughs> lose sight of that because that, that needs to probably be fixed in a future well, motion. That right, so was probably funds we should have put into a reserve and then we would have them distinct. A little late now, that's- But what, it, that's when, a good purpose of getting funds that can only right. be used for so certain I, purposes. So I get that, you get that, we all get that. Guess what, it didn't happen and we had to go back and trace it all. Right, right. So, so I would say that at least two reserves, Carla, if you could look into these and tell us the decision points we Carla need to make. fell off again, hold on. Is it us or her, I wonder? Road air panels right now. One second. Is it us or you, Carla? That was actually me. My laptop died. I had to plug uh, it in. Uh, okay. So, well, ben was I, ask I just saying, two. I think I think we can reach consensus that at least two kinds of reserves are needed. The building repair, maybe we wait on that, but the park. And tree repair reserve um, because it would be 
I, I support the idea of putting this, if we get this wood tile money, putting it somewhere special. And then can, the, I ask, uh, can I ask why you need to put it as a repair and not just a capital reserve? And let me, let me, let me, and I know it's because you don't want to have to deal with the permissive referendum. Um, but let me, let me just throw it out there. Um, there are certain places that have um, like a recreation, town wide, village wide recreation reserve account. <laughs> And that account just has is created without permissive referendum. The only and all the money, all developers' fees, things of that nature, go into that fund, and that fund is used for things like you're talking about with all the various parks um, within uh, uh, mm -hmm. and outdoor places within the village. So, I mean, we can that do must this for, be a repair. That must be a repair that, reserve if it doesn't require. It is not a repair reserve, and it is a type capital reserve that a type capital reserve does not require a permissive referendum on establishment. It requires permissive referendum upon um, appropriation. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, is, is that what Milton does? They have, they have the they permissive park and rec, as you could call it, and they have a permissive rec referendum if they need so to you know it. a permissive referendum is only a referendum if someone actually petitions to have one it, there's not right. a, any requirement for mandatory 10 percent right. of the last yeah so, right. so yeah. it's not, no, it's it's not that, big that essentially no. holds up a decision for a month yeah that's well, yeah. only something I, I have no problem with there. with the permissive i mean everybody else was oh my god it needs a permissive referendum no that's fine because i don't think 10 percent of our elect you know well i think register. for them for for a player it was a legitimate concern on the back end of it because now they got all this money and somebody actually does have a problem spending nine hundred thousand or two million or whatever it is and they could actually create an issue okay. for them well then so, they right. create you, a there a are capital, cases where you don't want it capital park and recreation reserve fund that's fine so is that something you have to do carl or is that a accounting thing that, no, no totally all right. of these have to be done okay. um by council and okay. I, I have my idea. I have I have the motion that you made. I have the thoughts. I have the information. I've been taking notes. Um, so oh, I'm happy to put together. Um, I will put together some information. I will send it out to you all within the next week or so. And then um, we can go from there. Uh, but okay. none of this has anything to do with the budget and nothing's going to get um, actually adopted and established prior to the budget. So well, all right. it still then, would would transfer the have a, an account. No, you would not have an account. There will not be an account created before May 1st, unless you intend on creating it next Monday. And I don't know if I can get to it by next Monday. Okay. No, not May 1st. May, June 1st. Is, June 1st is the June, June June budget. Uh, the, May 1st is the budget, though. Budget has to be adopted uh, uh, May 1st. That's right, what I'm right, saying. Right, it has right. nothing to do right. with the budget. Yeah. All right. Okay, so that, and then, sorry, and then sorry. The, the other one that I think I think we generally have a, a consensus, maybe not in the specifics, but something about a water infrastructure capital reserve fund. Yeah, we need to get we need to have that. Well, we have to examine if you're using it to pay debt. Ultimately, that's the question, too, though, now, because he's saying you can't just convert the debt or convert that into debt payments. And a lot of that might be. So why don't we study that question first to figure out Exactly. We, we need to talk to Bob and we need to talk to her because Bob's got the thoughts on what to do here with specific projects for the village and global projects for the system. She needs to look at, I think, the question of can you convert debt payment scenarios out of this account okay. or if you can't, can you transfer money into such a situation? I she believe know you the can answer. convert, you can take money from capital to a debt payment. Well, yeah. But we also will probably need cash to like for um, grant matching and things like that or well, engineering work or, what you know, yeah. there's probably. Well, one there. of the financing possibility options that was highlighted during uh, Don's discussion was possibly the developer or whoever's doing this work for us would actually sit there and finance it for us over time if we use them to uh, do the maintenance on an ongoing basis. Mm -hmm. And that creates a different scenario if you're there so, so we've been talking though about some kind of water reserve fund i get i get it i get it <laughs> right. for a second so the so, good news is we've we've eliminated talking about f fund it sounds like because of the yeah, understanding of the all the got, got the word so now the controller that 
it's an all or nothing deal. Right. Now the water basically is going to reside in general funds, uh, fund balance reserves. Uh, so again, reserves. it sits in A with everything else. It's right. just a separate bank account called a reserve account. So is it a reserve or it's not a reserve? It, it would be a reserve okay. in A for water of some sort. It's now the question a. is, what are we exactly doing with it? What can we do with it? Should we have two of them, one for global, one for specific? For the so that's projects. something we're going to ask Carla to and Bob Fox and, too, uh, right? Because, like well, I said, and the Burge. Well, yeah, they're yeah, the if ones you want who put to together done. our, our no, but basic in terms capital. of internal accounting, that's no, not accounting, the but as far as you it's, know, it's fine if we want to ask Don, I'm sure he'll give us some, yeah. So, let's yeah. let's so the request to Carla is to move forward with this water reserve of some kind in the park and tree reserve, of some kind. And uh, we'll have a conversation on that in a month or whatever right. about the next steps and moving forward. Should we go back to where we should have started? Probably. Thank, yeah. thank you, Carla. And, and just it's in the first section, anyways. Then the two hundred thousand that we'll, I had we'll get there. Let, let's let's go through budget operation <laughs> items <Frank's> here. I'm trying. Okay, revenues. We'll just go through quickly here, just to make sure. Uh, zoning fees, you want to go from 100 to 830. I have no objection to that. I, the only uh, reason why I didn't bounce that in the next one for planning to 335 was the thought that, hey, who knows if we have a recession, if there's going to be less applications that come through, something like that. But I, I think it's still fair. It's, it's a piddly amount of money compared to some of these other things. So good, good on those two. Move on to the next uh, side of the page. Uh, interest and penalties on water rents from 17.5 to 20. A little risky only because we had a bounce last year uh, with respect to the first time we could relevy uh, that got us some of these uh, penalties back a little faster uh, or a little bit more uh, backloaded uh, because of that relevy issue with uh, COVID scenarios. But I don't think it's going to be too harmful uh, to go to 20. If you try to push it to 29 yeah. plus, again, I would have plus had an issue. Plus, the revenue committee may come up with some more fees to get. Right. Them. But for now, you're not going to get that passed by June 1st either. We have to talk about what's in front of us right now. The 5% water increase, if we're going to go that route for the time being, obviously would help that matter too, right. a little bit. Uh, unclassified. Right. Oh, we, did, we voted on that. Didn't we approve that? Uh, no, we have not approved that. Oh, we'll we have, have to do that with the budget, okay. basically. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, I avoided on that purposely. Yeah, we did. Unclassified revenues we took from 120 down to zero because uh, A, it was probably not even the right uh, category, but we wanted to represent it. B, we'll see then the next one, letter A, the change uh, to A2660, which we had to go find that one, sale of real property from zero to 360 to represent a Woods Hollow sale. That's revenue. Right. So, and, and this is a budget. It's for some reason, something doesn't happen. Understood. It, it doesn't happen. Um, I still have not tracked down the right uh, line, but we'll just uh, assume uh, the, grant. the grant. I, I couldn't tell if it was 26 or 2,500, and then I actually put both in here by accident. I put 25 I, I just think, to keep it. I think they requested 26 in our budget, but they got 25 from. So it's, okay, so it's 25, and, they, and I put the math yeah. down sort of wrong there, but. Uh, so hopefully not short 100. They're hoping for a match. From the musicians. Well, we're fine either way. Okay. It's not a question of that. Yeah. Um, okay. So, change A2410. That's based on your. That's the slick net worth $6,000. And we're finishing. Uh, Carla had revised that today. I'm going to send that out to you. Please get me get back to me immediately if you're okay with what she changed in it so I can get that done with and they're ready to go. It sounds like moving some stuff. So you're okay with this? Yeah. Already. Was, well, hey, that's good news. I mean, so was, we're trying to get to work here. On, we, found, uh, okay. we found some more money. That's good, good news. Okay, so I'm happy to accept your board of trustees personnel uh, with the offset uh, for mayor. So my position in thinking about this is that we really shouldn't play politics or play one year um, aberrations from just what the position is. And um, so, you know, we're all in these positions temporarily. They've been funded historically a certain amount. Um, if, if we don't, inc it's not even uh, a raise, it's just cost, you know, inflationary adjustment like the rest of the staff. I think it should be you know, basically we're a form of, of a paid employee and um, we should, it should just be uniform. 
for and everybody. we shouldn't be in the business of being like, well, I don't like who's in here now, so you shouldn't get any money. And then, you know, a year from now, I like these people, how they're doing work. We're going to give you 5%, 10%. Like we shouldn't play that kind of, um, have that kind of approach. Trustee so shouldn't be voting on their own uh, so, basis. Of the well, well I, I, think, I think it might be good in the future to put in code whatever employee staff annual raises are is reflected in the board. So I, and that makes it... And, it, and, it the, and the head of the deciding. planning, it's actually the planning board society. is also paid, the zoning board, everybody gets the same increase. Yeah. And, and that just takes the politics out of it. And, uh, you know, so so my my uh, position is you should get the two and a half percent and every all the trustees. I'll be donating it back. Even that's fine. That's fine. That's your, you, you can, can do with it what you want. That's your, yeah. your choice. And your we can choice. do whatever that's you want to do with it. <laughs> but, but in the budget, I think we should just leave, not politicize and... Yeah. Well, Are you so. okay with a 10.4? Well, hold on, 10. because the, you're going to create a couple of problems here because also there's a FICA effect. So I have to make sure I note that fact. And so that will make even- $193. No, 438 for mayor. It's, it creates a FICA effect to put it back in. Okay, well, you can balance that out, I'm sure. Well, it ain't gonna be happening right now. I'll tell you that much. Um, um, increase the, the, the board of trustees contractual. Are you okay with that? Do no, I I don't know why we're going up twenty four hundred dollars. What was because the, what it was, was the to do three three newsletters. Also, you put the cost of the village website on us. Right, the cost of the village website <laughs> is not that much. How uh, much is it? Five thousand? Not even. <laughs> no, how much is it? It it probably should go somewhere else, right? <laughs> yeah, I but mean, why why is it in our line? Either way, if you want me to check on that and get specific, we can have that. Basically, I, uh, it feels like that should be in government services on most work sites. But I think there is some money for training that wasn't, there was no yeah, training. training money. There was no training money. No, tra that was what was supposed to be in there is training money. That's what we would always take it out of. No, because you, you took it down. We'd like it back yeah. up to 90. I didn't take it down. It was at 67.77. That was what the, the spending was. So there's the extra for another newsletter. I said, yeah. I said $8,000 was kind of like the in between because looking at usage, okay, maybe there's some aspect somewhere there. So I said up to $8,000. The, the requested was 92.77. 91.77. Um, well, no, you, this is up from yours as well. Anyways, and so we want to keep it at the requested because that was was the amount. So, well, all right. It, um, so it's- I'm still, it's, I'm stuck at 8,000 here because right? I don't well, see the basis for jumping that much for a website already being paid. Let's say the website stays in there, it's already being paid for. You've got the newsletters are costing what five hundred dollars each. No, it's more than that. Well, no, you should be using the water bills first off. No. Yes. Uh, well, we are going to do it to every resident. Yeah, because so. <laughs> water bills only yeah. go to property owners. Don't get water bills, so. Yeah, and we have. Well, with Liz's new policies, maybe they will be. <laughs> Stay tuned. Well, so it, it was like fifteen hundred or something. Yeah, so we'd like yeah. that. Are, are you agree? We keep it. Yeah, I I I think a thousand bucks more isn't going to kill us. Right. And um, if it, if it's going to allow us to do another newsletter, the problem is is we can't talk about newsletters and not do them. I've done then, two. I got to do. I got to do one more so, before the end of this. Just yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so the I mean I we've gotten too. a lot of positive comments from people because of those newsletters and because they did go out to every resident. Well, you know, we may not spend it all. <laughs> okay, so, training or so that this one, we'll vote on, on these later. Um, we'll decrease vote, the we'll continuum. vote on what later? On these amendments. Liz, no, but you cannot vote on these amendments if it's not gonna balance the budget. Yeah, it well, would be for a final budget approach. Again, you gotta, you gotta understand the method to the madness of budgeting. Well, the budget I have in here is balanced. It's not. I took the pluses. I took the minuses from your amendments. It did not balance. It has not balanced all three times. And that's how you have to do it, Liz. You take the well, tenant budget, which balanced. We, we all agree it balanced. It showed zero at the end. And then I look at your revenues, figure out what the increase, decrease was for revenues. Do the same thing with well, expenditures. And that's how math, I check. The math in this model lines up. Well, your model may have an error. It, I do not believe it does. I'm gonna have to tell you it, it probably does because I can tell you by right. hand, I did by hand. 
Well, that was Three where times. You, well, <laughs> so right the end is where you'd get errors. Today's Tuesday. We can, we can. We got till Monday. We can, yeah, we can vote right. on these amendments. Check, double check. Well, the I don't, we're not going to vote on the amendments tonight. We're going to have a consensus so that we can finalize numbers. Because I also have a couple of things in G that need to be fixed too. We uh, basically overestimated debt is minor. So I'm going to take down debt to the right number and make the corresponding change in revenue. So I'll have that ready for you for Monday as well. But we may we may make motions to, for specific. You're amendments. not supposed to do that because if you do that, you have an imbalanced budget at that point. Um, Carl, well, I, I, give me a correction on that if I'm wrong on that one, please. Well, then we can look at it sort of like a straw vote then on these things. Well, I think we're that's what we're doing as we go through these. So, so we're keeping the the uh, the. 40 board trustees contractual A10 10.4 10. to 9177. Well, right now you are $17, $1,800 almost uh, in the negative. You're just well, you just said we were going to pay less debt service. So <laughs> I think you can probably. Debt service to what? You just said we we're going to pay less debt service than we have in the budget. But I don't even know what you're talking about. What did you just say? That the debt service line is not correct. That's going to be later in these that actually balanced this one. That's so that's why I'm saying you're minus 1800 right now. So let's keep going. Okay. Uh, Mayor, we're going to keep it 2.5. Um, contingency, take it down to 100. Since well, technically, let, let's take this one step at a time. Your 49.1 is in here. I'm saying we need to add back 5,000 for master plan rendering and other consultant work related to the master plan. And the- Well, six... I added it back as, as um, not contingency because they don't need to do a full blown master plan. They already okay, have- Okay, $5,000 ain't gonna get you a football master plan. No, this was no, I'm renderings. saying it was 20 in contingency the 5,000 I put back in under equipment. So it's not equipment. They need equipment. They but need. They, we, we provided for what they asked for with respect to equipment. So I don't know what, why you would put it into there. It's, it's contractual. This is contractual. Well, okay. We can put it back in. It's back right. in. So, so the point, the point is that you're paying for certain things out of Woods Hollow for parks. Right. I'm saying add that master plan 5,000 and the 6,000 for equipment in Kelly Park. I don't know where this paving thing came from. We're trying to get the paving done for free or at least. Well, uh, that's what I thought. And you keep saying we need money for paving. Well, no, the 6,000 is for the stuff after the paving, the equipment for okay. and basketball. I put that yes, in, in yes. my budget, I put it back in. I put the 5,000 back right, in. Right, but it's in the wrong category. So now we got to just make sure we're accounting for it. Okay. That said, and, and I put the six thousand back, and as I said, I restored most of the the um, numbers have, to where they were before. So there's going to have to be additional lighting and everything else there too, correct? Right. Well, if it's a night, well, so, but yeah. I think it's a day. So it shouldn't be an argument. Remember, it's not a dust park. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to put it all in contractual, that's <laughs> fine. We can move it over if they need equipment. Well, the the amount that should be coming out of the Wattala money is fifty four one, based on this, is what I had yeah. figured. Uh, to be fair. So now, why did, why no did one, it go from 49 to 54? 49, 1 to 54. One. It's the 5,000. I Maybe I didn't put the 6,000 for that stuff uh, in here when I did it. Like, we could if you want to, but <laughs> if you want to just stick it to the halfway point, it's 5,000. Yeah. We'll, we'll separately fund the 6,000. You know? No, she put 6,000 in. Yeah, um, I did. She put it in. And then she also in put 40, the, in the 49, 1. She, it's, in, it's under Kelly Park somewhere. Yeah. Back to 14 1. I don't think it's, under, it's not under 49. 44, 1. Were you at 44 1, maybe, or 43 1? I had 14,100 for Kelly equipment what, and what building. What was your 25,000 for parkentry and 10,000 for sidewalks uh, damaged by trees? No, it was 43 1, is what she had, not 49 1. So it's 43 1 plus the 6 plus the 5 comes up to 54 1, come out of the Woods Hollow money. So whatever. We've so got contingency the would be a hundred thousand, and we would go with a nine sixty two, the amount of 
360 minus 54, one, which is 3059, would go into A962. It would have no net effect on what we're doing here because I'm just moving that 305900 to that 962 line. So it has no net effect. Wait a second. Where where are you putting the Woods Hollow money? That's still sale of What's property. What's A62? A962 is budgetary provisions for other uses. I, basically, okay. you're sticking it to fund balance is what okay. it is. Whatever we want to decide to take out of the, the Woods Hollow money to spend in 24, we do that. The remainder goes into that. Right. A, spending, what is that number again? A962. A962. Or I think it's 0962, but okay. it codes, All right. but. That's fine. I have no problem with that. Okay. So we got 54,100 that we're using for other expenses, 3059 that we're using to go into fund balance from Woods Hollow once that closing occurs. And then we'll higher. talk about the. Could so. it potentially be higher depending on our negotiations with Lumac? Well, who knows? We can't count on that. No, that's that. No, but it could. All right, all right, just okay. So item E. Yes. Do we really want to? This was you know, I added this because she had said this ten thousand dollar thing here, but we never had the actual corresponding expense. Mm -hmm. I, I get I get where you're going. I just I was doing it as a service to her. Okay. Oh yeah, because I'm not sure we really want to allocate anything to that until we come up with code as to how we're going to handle that, which we really haven't. We're still discussing. Do you just want to go to sidewalks 50,000 generally then and take care of it that way? That sounds like a good idea. Okay, so no net effect, but I'm just right. going to make sure that instead yeah. two sidewalks 50K total. Okay. And that is coming out of the... Yes. That ten thousand would still be coming out of what's all money, but with a general purpose mm -hmm. in the back of our heads of what we're doing that for. Okay. Again, I, I, this is to accommodate what she had written. Right. There, there's a lot of wrinkles that need to be ironed out. I got it. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, the fire chiefs at one hundred eight. We agreed on that. So I think that was yeah. your adjustment. Wait, where are you? It's a thirty-four ten point two. You're jumping, uh, Wait, you where, flip your page. What number are you under? Yeah, let's, well, I'm well, just going you, in the order I had them. Use, use this sheet because okay. that's where I'm going with this. Okay. F is <laughs> to uh, account for the fact that the Tahoe payment was double located, so $10,000 back there. Obviously, well, you said we we're $1,800 off, and even if we, we could take a portion of that sidewalk money. If you needed to, we put let's yeah. see, let's yeah. see where we end up. Yeah. Okay, how yeah. does this relate to Liz's list? Well, I mean, are they basically, again, I, I did a running total here, mm -hmm. things that I was okay with, That'd and all the stuff I captured here. So then we'll go back to her. Well, you just talked stuff. about the Tahoe. That's what's in here. It's it's decreased fire chiefs to 108. Well, no, this, this Tahoe's police. Uh, oh, right it's now. police. Okay. okay this so is a ten thousand dollars Are your Tahoe. comments here incorporating or referencing this at all? Or These comments were incorporating separate? her second set from last Monday, okay. not well, the third set. Well, this is the third. This is the third that's, set. Okay, that's, that's, that's your third set, but we are trying to use right. something that was balanced in the first place to sort of figure out where we are, okay? okay? And then if you have other things you want added afterward, say your piece at that point. Let's go through these because there ain't that many left. Okay. Uh, Unifier company goes to 54,000, not 57,500 based on their proposal. That's the worst case scenario at this point, it looks like. Any labella work is gonna be done in this fiscal year. With okay, our so that opinion. decreases. So 54,000 is, as it is written here on mine, uh, there's no get back on that, okay? Okay. You wanted the extra $500 for bottle, it's fine. HTC, this was spending on- Where are you? Uh, number 16, which is next okay, up there. Yeah. Let's see, where are we? The here? HTC for, the 750 was for the books, and for, I think, a couple of the uh, folks they wanted to speak, but going up above that, you're starting to set a standard that the planning board and the zoning board are going to start wanting too. if we go crazy on that one. What? On um, which one? Which, which, which? Um, this is your number 19, I think. 16. No, for her, it's 19. 19, her. increased historian contract. Oh, she's using the other, okay. Yeah, she's so trying to the numbers changed. 
So, so like what's that. the accounting code? Seventy-five ten four. Okay, historian, just increase because it, the request was originally ten thousand three seventy-five in the beginning, although it doesn't appear on here. So it's, right, the HCC was asking for five grand out of nowhere. And yeah. So okay. So I'm saying seven fifty was stuff think, they had wanted. And, no, well, yeah. nine fifty is. Is I listened to all the, the workshops. So again. do we. Yeah, I, I, I wrote this one down because so I'm like, we, give, we give were them, doing something that we I, didn't I need think, to do. you know, give you're, you're also you're also giving one museum more than the other, which is something I was really trying to be careful not to do to play favorites on this. And right. Ellie was actually thrilled at 2,500. Now I put it back to 3,000. Here. They are the visitor center, and that I, and Brookside is yeah, not. Yeah, I think 500 is for a sign or something. Yeah, I think I think that's. Yeah, I that's, that's like it's twenty. It was equal plus five hundred, saying they're public putting a sign. Yeah, and they are yeah. the they are the official visitor center, so I don't have a problem with that. And I think Brookside you know, Brookside's going to come uh, knocking on the door in a second, saying, so, "Yeah, hey, so I, we're willing to do that." <laughs> I think increasing that to sixty four fifty is fine. You can think that. Uh, what's our other thoughts so on that? What is the percentage from what? So that went up seven hundred dollars because um, the five hundred for bottle, two hundred for HDC. HDC, the Star, the Star District. District. Yeah, I was proposing right. just doing the five hundred for bottle as yeah. a uh, compromise there, but I think I think it's I think if I mean the historic commission asked for so much money. Yeah, but the uh, nine fifty is is pretty small amount to. For them Let's to buy they, all those books and everything and and start educating people about well, the books the i counted for the books they were fully in there yeah. with, uh the well, keep it represented in that everything too so let's it's, just move on it's all right to what number because i, I mean i'm okay I, with I'm tracking here with, so oh, 64 50. i'm okay with what was put so okay. Big yeah I'm okay fine. the three I'm of us are okay with that one so good. all right move on to the next issue I, I I have no idea why you're thinking that sixty thousand dollars of a eighty to ninety thousand dollar contract is going to be done by May thirty first on this. No matter how you slice this, I think the total cost is going to be around eighty to ninety thousand, and we're going to spend most of it. We have the thirty. Nobody, nobody. That wasn't what I just said. I just said I don't see how you're going to spend all that by May 31st. Of what, this year? No, next year. Yeah. You oh, start, yeah. You're gonna start, and you can think I'm crazy as much as you want. You're not gonna start this process until October in no, the best case scenario. Are you right? kidding? Because you've gotta go out and hire them first. So you gotta finish, you gotta hire, yeah, that's and you why gotta get we, them started. That's why we passed a motion last time to form it's the It's not committee. gonna affect that fact. You're not going to get them started well, you gotta, at work. You, first of all, you gotta create RFP. You gotta put the RFP out for Correct. 30 days. Yeah. And then you have to do a bit analysis and but that's not October if, if in the next month the comp plan it might is it approved. might be August or September, but yeah. And it's an 18 month project, most likely, is what we've uh, yeah. guessed at here. And so the thing is, just like we allocated thirty thousand for zoning this year and did not spend it, if we don't spend the sixty, but you allocated thirty thousand, and that, that is part of the whole reason why I'm sitting here like. Okay, you assumed you're gonna get about half of it done in this year. You did thirty thousand for that half a year. Now suddenly you're thinking that sixty thousand is gonna be a half a year. It's like, whoa, well, okay, no, wait a minute. I, I think <laughs> it should stay at sixty. That way we have enough to negotiate and and find a consultant. If we don't spend it, we do the same thing as we did this year. We didn't spend it. I was willing to go up to fifty thousand for that specifically, uh, just as a you know, meet you in the part way there scenario. And I think that represents fairly what is going to be the reality on this whole thing. Hey, Sean just broke it down for you, no matter but, how you but slice if this. We, we sign a contract, it's going to be for the whole amount. But you don't pay, you pay uh, based on percentage of completion. That's right. how these contracts work. And so they're not going to be complete. In fact, <laughs> well, let's, the lion's let's, share, the lion's share, which you're going to work, is the that, final deliverable. Let's, let's hold that ten thousand as a placeholder, well, because the, you said you're minus. You'll be minusing that ten thousand right now. You'll be minus twelve thousand. Uh, no, I mean how right much? Now. Since you're keeping a running total, 
I'm, tr I'm trying to keep some semblance of, hey, here's kind of where we are. And obviously I'm gonna have to do a final cut or add somewhere in a revenue line that we feel yeah. like we can do so that on. Do we need that extra 10,000? We may. We Cur may. Currently so, for so, balancing purposes, so we keep, do. So keep it as it may be. Okay. So right now you're at 51,550 is what the number would be. The, the one, 1550 mm -hmm. supplies and training plus the $50,000. Okay. Just so you're aware of that. Okay. And I'm just going to write that down. So I know what I just said. Um, planning contractual. I, this is where I thought you were over aggressive, to be honest with you, because the planning board may still need to uh, pay some engineering fees or may not fully recapture engineering fees at some pay, uh, points in time. So Why not? sometimes you chase after them. Sometimes well, you actually then, have to pay them. Well, sometimes you actually go get an individual third party assessment. You might have to do a peer review. Yeah. And so you may not charge them for or chase it. So that's why I'm saying keep $5,000 in there in case. And if we have other engineering that starts eating a hole through our pocket, at least we can go to that line and be like, okay, well, there's some engineering money. So you want to increase planning and Well, something? I'm keeping it on this one that I'm holding right now at the number of... 7618. Uh, give me a second. I'll tell you exactly what that is. So it's... That was your original. I was saying to your original to, number was seven. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I, maybe if I looked at the right number here, that'd be helpful. 23,550 is uh, where I would put that at. 23,550. Whoa, 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 whoa. For what category? A8024. Planning contractual. Planning contractual. You wanted to go 18,550. I had it at 28,550. So I'm saying That's go in the middle. 10,000. Yeah. All right, so you're doing 5,000? Yeah, 23,550 is what I had that at. And again, that doesn't change what that I had adds, in my hand. That adds a 5,000 for engineering, right? It, it doesn't change what I'm doing on my sheets here, so I'm not should, accounting for you. Should we, should we right take now. that 5,000 and put it in the engineering budget? You can move it later, do a budget transfer with it. By, no, think but you're, you're why not put it in now? You're assuring planning if they've got an engineering uh, fee that they've well, got their Well, but we keep line. other engineering and, and government services. We, I thought we, we weren't going to keep No, we spread, out, we spread out engineering in different places. It's, I mean, it's all right. It's but, okay. How about, um, Bye, Michael. Yeah, have a good night. How about zoning um, contractual? We need five thousand there. All the stuff for engineering? No, they don't. No, do they, they don't. They don't, they don't do. Engineer. That's not. All right. They don't do that. No, and he's taking the sixty down to fifty. Okay. So, um, okay. So hold on, just go to the next page here. Next one would be the Tahoe lease payments for fire. I see that. Uh, so you're regaining 21835 there. I don't think anybody's going to argue about fixing an error. Uh, okay, that's, that's there. okay. Um, Treasure PS does not have to go up seven if we use the plan we just discussed uh, today. Uh, it would go up 4,500. So Which there's 2,500. What's the plan? 66. Oh, okay. Well, we haven't decided if we're going to hire yet. Well, it's an appointment, but we haven't decided. Well, just you should. Yet. I mean, you should tell her it's tentative until pending board mm -hmm. approval, right? It's not board approval, but you're. I mean, well, it, do um, we have Carlos? What is what is the situation? Is. With, is not worth with the <laughs> that we had a treasurer leave when in this we had Barbara leave and we approved her. I mean Julia. But we had Julia leave and then we approved Bar Barbara. Okay. So why aren't we? You did not approve Barbara. I believe we did a motion. A, no, we opened a meeting and I stated in mayor's announcements, wherever it was, I think it was actually sitting here uh, that night that I was appointing her so that we had the resolution or they had the minutes yeah. to take it. I back. thought I read a nine con book. Go ahead, Carla. Sorry. That's it. So if, an, if a treasurer leaves, do you need board approval for the replacement? My um, recollection is the same as Ben's actually in this one. Um, and Frank, after we talked about this today, I looked into it. I believe that um, it is your appointment, but it is subject to board approval. Okay. Which isn't saying we I'm won't. I'm wait. <laughs> Which isn't saying we Join won't. Join the crowd. Wait. Everybody else yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Okay. Because we didn't do it that way. Yeah. All right. I appreciate well, you did. Mind. 
<laughs> well, that's the way we need to do it right. going forward because treasurer no, is no, a key oh, position. No, 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 no. Actually, no. <laughs> Vacancy of an officer is a mayor's appointment. I mean, I'm, I'm taking it. All right, we'll, we'll research it. We'll research so, it. You guys can all call Wade and, and have him say that I'm wrong. That's fine. No, yeah. Nikon says what you're saying, Carla. The yeah. book does anyway, but we can research it. I mean, or you can't, you know, but that, the book, the book does say that uh, <coughs> officials like treasurers are appointed by the mayor subject to board approval. And what if they don't approve? Then and they can get someone else. That's why. That's why you <laughs> need you to have a candidate. It's subject to a holdover, approval. isn't it? At that point. No, it's just Every a. That's a safety safety valve, so that there isn't cronyism. Simply. So. Right. And that we feel that that's a good candidate. So you just need to tell so, her. So you have, you have one candidate currently. We're not saying we are mixing words. No, but <laughs> just the process, did we, did we right. advertise in the local papers too? We didn't even. So the mistake that occurred was Jen actually opened it up to other counties. Uh, right, indeed. Which we can't do. Right. But uh, we currently. did it and. She's we're out not, of county? She's out of county because yeah. so we, we don't even pass that law. First. We don't even have the authority to hire her. Okay, right so now. you don't want a, a, a treasurer. You don't want Barbara. No, Scott I'm not her. saying that. I said we do not have the legal authority to, to and offer Carla this person. Carla and I already walked through that today. Uh, and I would tell her it? that I think you should just be honest well, with yeah. her and tell her. Yeah, I've got a board that doesn't want to act. I got it. No, 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 no. We're Stop putting words in people's yes. mouths. Can we get back to the budget, please? That's well, we're not that, taking comments right now. True. Hey, Gina, <laughs> do you have a comment? Yes, get back to the budget. That's what we're here for. Okay, thank you. Don't stare at me, Liz. You can't All right. Okay, so let's stop uh, now. Gina. Shut up, Ben. You need to, okay, Gina, All right, stop. so she needs Whoa. to, yeah, thank you. Whoa. I need to what? You need to follow the rules like everyone else like and, and be, and be a civil ben, person. Ben, you're feeding it, and there's no need yeah, to feed it. Well, you don't need to want stop to have her. your brother be so, so stop her special from interfering with this meeting. Okay, uh, she's a human being. I asked Ben to stop you from doing things, all kinds of things, and he doesn't stop you. So, would you want I to am a member, <laughs> I, I am a member right, of this board. She is yeah. not. All right. Excellent. So, so, so let's, let's look at you later. Come on. Mm -hmm. So the, the point is that under the current plan, if you are mm -hmm. willing to go through the plan, uh, there's plus 2,500 to our uh, side of the ledger okay. on this. All right. Good. Assuming that we're going to be paying that rate. Yes. That's with the well, FICA he, he, and everything? No. That I've got to look into this FICA effect. Obviously, it's going to be yeah. a minimal effect, but it's effect. I mean, you can't blame us for bucks. being a little bit cautious on this hire. It's all right. Yeah. Liz, we'll yeah. follow the, the process. All I'm asking for is follow the process. Yes. Yeah. And let the process things. Yeah. Just don't, you know, so you'll have side to talk. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next. Uh, workers kind of coming down 24,000. That's fine. So the running total, more or less, is in a positive sense here of about plus, give or take, 1,877 minus FICA. Effects. Okay, so it's pretty balanced. Give okay, I want well, to. Well, pretty balanced doesn't cut it. I have to actually balance the budget. So okay, we'll figure that out. Then we get there. So now our, our amendments include the cultural and recreational contractual from twenty nine seven to eighteen four twenty five, which I, is I higher than it was than we had last last week. And I think is the okay, level. So, so, so we've got a balanced budget, but now you're going to imbalance the budget. Yep. In that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's imbalancing the budget now. Yeah, you're more or less balanced budget, as she called it. But now well, we're going to imbalance gonna, it by gonna... taking away community <laughs> events again, money and cultural. Yep. So yep. we're going with this. Uh, well, we've got some well, lines here where I think you've got a balanced budget right now. I don't care stand. if we have a balanced budget. You don't budget care. Well, I do, and saving. the state does too. Well, I think that the amounts asked for are way higher than- You've got a balanced budget currently. 
So we well, put we're, more money we're not, into we're not asking for more money. We're asking we'll for less. Money. Can I just ask a quick question? Go ahead, Peter. The water fees on this, you said there were like 800 people that don't pay every six months, correct? No, well, no, between, they may be the same people. Well, okay, but 800. No, it was like 350 one, oh, one okay, period so. and, and I think 400 the next. It could be the same people. Okay. So, so it's about 40,000 more people. Yeah. So is that where is somebody backing out those fees from the water fund and putting them into the general fund? Those right. fees are part of the general. Yeah. All water revenue right. Right. is part of so the general. Currently, fund. there is no water fund. There is okay. no so separate water fund. Is twenty nine thousand dollars? Is that what you count the fees for water? How much you count for water fees? Twenty thousand. Twenty. So what do you mean for what? What are we talking about here? Your revenue line for water fees so and water fees are nine hundred and fifty thousand. No, he's talking that, that's oh, you, water mean, you mean the the, the, the penalties? Yes. Yeah, over over the time, penalties have raised raised. Yes, but how much is it? It should be close to the numbers you're giving me. It should be close to like twenty eight thousand dollars. And I think only put twenty thousand. Well, I'm doing conservatively because some of what the effect was for the twenty nine thousand was we were not allowed to do relevies to capture some of those interest and penalty uh, numbers until basically last year is the first time for a couple of years. So we may juice that account because we finally got interest and penalties we should have gotten a year earlier. So it basically backloaded into one year. But, so my point is, if we try to budget at 29,000, I think we'd be wrong to do that based on that fact. So 20 is a safe number at least. Okay, I think it's real conservative though. Yeah. Um, but you know it, it, the old uh, adage: conservative on uh, revenues, or more liberal on revenue, or conservative on revenues, Cultural liberal on expenditures. So that if you you end up with something at the end of the day. Um, so what, again, you, we're at, we're at a more or less balanced budget, quote unquote. So now you want to take out of these things for what purpose? Is the question, I guess? Because the increases are too high. Based on what? Because the actual spending on these uh, items is not that far off from what's there. What do you mean from 2023? From fiscal year 2023, you, that's what you're saying. So what what was the culture and recreation? In so are we on number 13 or are we on number 20? Oh. I, I no longer know what number we're talking about. <laughs> name, name the category. <laughs> Okay. Bingo now. <laughs> okay, culture. The fund fund for the arts contract was requested at twenty nine seven, and I brought it down to twenty four twenty five, and they spent. Wait, well, I have eighteen four two five. A seventy well, ten. The second one. She's taking her third revision. Yeah, the third oh, revision. They were allocated twenty five hundred dollars and six. 2560, 2560. They requested for this year $29,700. And I took that down to 20,425, which is still a significant increase over 2023. And I think is a more reasonable amount to spend on these items. And you didn't account for the Grant, you realize that part of this at one point. So, are you accounting? No, for the grant? no, the grant was in here. I added the grant on the revenue side and took it off here. Like, you, no, 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 you don't do that. You keep the expense. No, I kept the expense. I did that. So, it includes the 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 twenty five hundred. So that's offset so, by a grant. So, why don't you run down what you're categorizing here at this point? Okay, fun for the arts, website 500, flyer 750, sounds 2500, photo walk 1000, banners 2500, plen air 1175. Well, versus hold, hold, a requested. Hold, 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 slow down for one sec. 1175, you realize there's an offset of revenue that's supposed to, that's on the other side of this, right? Yeah, 2500. For plen air? This no, 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 plan no, air is a paid class. That's why it's at 2350. It's an expense, but some of it was supposed to be made up. Well, that's true. 
I'm not, sure, I, I'm, not sure what per, I'm not sure what percent is made up. I think yeah. it was about thousand dollars is accurate. Yeah. Is what we have Maybe. on our sheets. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. So, so, so I at just least I'm not talking. I just assumed, yeah, 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 right? true. which they agreed that they could do just one plein air class, and so there, theirs was significantly reduced fund for the arts. No, it was seventy one hundred still. Right. Okay. Well, that, that's you're, you're saying. And then there was twelve thousand two hundred, five hundred for a website. Um, no, let's see. Wait a second. Oh. Where's oh the ask piece was? They requested seventeen thousand five hundred, and I allocated ten thousand, which I think is sufficient for the birdhouse project. That's a lot. So uh, this is a good. This is a compromise. So we're spending more on birdhouses than I would spend, but I'm willing to compromise. Um, but we, hold on, we, we, we're we're backward here in a couple of ways. So website flyer sounds, uh, photo walk banners, plein air at the correct number at twenty two fifty, five thousand six thousand. Uh, Fifty nine twenty five is what I. It's ninety six hundred is the total. Uh, for all that, just as an FYI, the requested was twelve thousand. I don't care what the requested is. I'm now basing it on numbers that you're right. actually spitting okay. out. And what? And Re website five hundred flyers seven fifty sounds twenty five hundred because we have to show the expense. Right. Photo walk thousand banners twenty five hundred plein air twenty three fifty with no, the offset 11, of revenue. No, one thousand one seventy five. Well, then I'm going to have to offset revenue somewhere too. I, it's, this is almost like a six one half dozen the other moment here because. It's minimal. Okay, so what's your total on fund for the arts? With all those, is ninety six hundred. That includes the, the fund area and the twenty five hundred. Yeah. How did we go from well, twenty five hundred? Includes the twenty five hundred dollar grant. Okay. All right. Okay, then now, the, the ask the thing they requested seventeen thousand five hundred for well, birdhouses. You said requested twelve two. No, that's that's. Uh, oh, that's arts. requested for arts. Okay, uh, gotcha. Ask. At request of 17,500, right? mm -hmm. 2,500 for birdhouses for this year. For the festival. Which, and 10,000 for next year, and then 5,000 for banners. And we reduced that 2,500 for banners and 7,500 for birdhouses. How much, wait, do that again? Because now I'm using your older, your, so you came down further? I came down to ten thousand for the for the birdhouse project. You would ask uh, at eleven thousand four twenty five in your second set of amendments. you now where do you have ask? I have asked ten thousand. So you came down further from the last set of amendments. Um, Despite the fact it was balanced, I have, I have eleven four two five on both these papers. That's what I'm looking at too. Eleven what? Four two five. Okay then. Standards is 2,500, birdhouses is 8925. So, okay, 9,600 plus 11,425 is? This, this may be right. where some of the imbalances yeah, going on with this, hers. This page is different than this page. Yeah, okay. So what are we doing, I guess, is the question here. We, again, the numbers we're you, now working with is this this budget is balanced i don't at, care if the budget I, can i finish my <laughs> sentence now that's balanced. this budget four. is balanced at a twenty nine thousand seven hundred dollar figure okay this comes out to a total of twenty one thousand and what 20, does ninety six hundred for fun for the arts and eleven thousand four twenty five for the birdhouse project the total of that is twenty one thousand twenty five and i think that's a fair amount to spend on those two projects, given that in 2023 budget, we spent $2,500. Mark? No. How much? No, it's no more. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how much? She keeps using requests from last year. Oh, I have the number here. As the projected. actual numbers. This says projected. Is this not the number? Then why is it well, on your sheet? I think it was a change right after that budget, correct? No, but why projected is supposed to be looking at what looking at the numbers and saying, this is what we are actually spending. We also didn't project the grant money, et cetera. So it was yeah. the wash in the projections. Right. Yeah, was but 2,500. 2, birdhouses, but then there was 2,500 on that five, or 5,000. 5,000. 5, 5, yes. 5, 5, 5, 5, okay, 5, so yeah. it went from 5,000 and now we're I was, going I up. Was, 
cautious on how I did We're the going up to 21,025. That is a huge increase. Now, how much do you have for birdhouses alone? 89.25 is what I'm saying. Is that accurate? Can you, yeah. Can you break it down per person, let's say? So, for instance, we engaged with, uh, well, 1,500, but that doesn't include families. Okay, so that's, let's say we spent uh, $8 per person. Plein air thing is getting fifteen hundred or twelve hundred. Is going twenty three fifty, but it's supposed to bring in some money okay. to offset a little so bit. So we're going at five dollars per person, where our plein air program is going for a hundred dollars per person. Look at it that way. How many? What is the cost? We're not per paying person? out for but however many it, people you bring in. with these things. How many? No, we don't. Does it serve? We don't. Okay, no, can we? we, can we, well, we fix a here. piece of money, then you decide yeah. how many people you can serve. That's the way it works. Well, we know. <laughs> okay. Yes. Here's your number. Uh, are we? Well, are we fine what? at twenty one thousand twenty five dollars? I'm, I'm fine a point, with that. A point, a point of order here. It is a workshop, and getting the input of people that are being affected by it is part of a workshop. That's yeah. what we well, do. I, I find it so, frankly right. outrageous to ask almost thirty thousand dollars for for arts. For arts, really? Yeah. All right. So when when the amounts that we're giving to other nonprofits, point five percent of your budget. I don't care the amount we are the giving. The amount here is really not cute anymore. Uh, look, compared to three thousand for for the bottle museum, which is the village's. How many people just go to the bottle museum? So eight, how many, a lot of people thousands. if they have to go to the bathroom. Tell me again on the list: eighty nine twenty five for bird houses. <laughs> And what else for for ask? By the way, we did not have a motion uh, for Barbara. I just found this uh, by accident, but we didn't. It was well, we should have. All right, eighty nine twenty five for birdhouses, and what else? And then the Carla minutes from November first. We want to look at them. I, the numbers are changing from what's on the printed page. Here. So eleven thousand four twenty five minus eighty nine twenty five. Well. Equals twenty five hundred for banners. It's regarding this. Go ahead. What happened to the six thousand dollars that was taken from Kelly Park and Ray Otten that was put back to come to us? Put back to the wrong. No, it's not no. going. It's not happening. What isn't happening? We're not taking from Ray's Parks. No, and, we're not. The money for the one that suggested it. Ray I. Is. That was a a. Okay. Another mistake. Didn't happen. It didn't happen. It's not happening. It was a. It was what? So so Look, birdhouses are eighty nine. Can, can we get on with our business? Can please? we list the numbers again, please? Because okay, eighty nine twenty five for birdhouses. What else? And twenty five hundred for banners, and, which is also birdhouse project, right? And that's no. it. Well, are banners. There other that's requests? it. No. Yes. So I think eighty nine twenty five is plenty for birdhouses. And twenty five hundred for bands. It's a good number. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Okay, you're for you, were, you were balanced heading into this category, so where are you put this money? It looks uh, like it you sounds can keep like the line item could use some money. So you could go back up at least five thousand. It did. Okay, it could probably use more. But add it to the um, Kelly Park uh, equipment. For the, the thing is, is it's, not, like it's, not, it's not painting your fence. I don't know where the hell this came from. What? It's 6000 for equipment. That was what the 6000 was for. Well, it might be more than that when you pick a wall or whatever. Yeah. And also, they'd no. like to move the dog <laughs> the, They'd like to move the dog you, park. You, you and, may and want get to a consider need a lighting friends. just for safety purposes, just the same reason we lit Kelly Park. Because right. otherwise, you get people in there who are doing vandalism. Yeah, but you don't want Don to, you, you don't want to breach the Don to Dusk policy in there either. Well, you wouldn't be because you'd have a closed gate around it. Well, that's we're, locked. We're going to presumably have park rules coming up that say Don to Dusk. Well, but we need cameras. We need. We but need anyway, don't we currently uh, light up Kelly Park? Okay. Geek, geek. No, not moving money well, is why it gets vandalized. Moving money shouldn't be hard to do. I mean, we're not adding to the budget. We're we're decreasing what's in there. Okay, but from, again, you still have to balance the budget at the end. Yeah, we'll day, we'll so. worry about that at the end. So, okay. Well, so so we agreed ninety six hundred. I just want to make the point. We we came into this item yeah. as mainly balanced. Right. We we basically have all said that. So now you're taking out what was your final number again? I didn't write it. So let me get that down. Twenty one. 
8,675 from this category. Yeah, but you took 10,000 out of out of the uh, fund for the for, for uh, zoning. So we could put no, I money. No, I I'm using the numbers from this sheet, which was balanced. I'm tracking on the balance sheets. No, but you, you came into this as a mainly balanced budget. Until no, these you took 10,000 out of the zoning. Because contract. we're not going to use well, it. Well, we may year. use it. So it, the, the excess. So you're going to put in money to just burn a hole in your pocket. Well, if okay. we don't spend it, we put it in fund balance and use it to buy stuff that we need. And we can always do our, 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 right? our bloated fund balance, yada, yada. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, all right. That's well, that's where we're at, right? 21, I'm fine 25. With that number. Okay, that's, thank that you. That seems like a generous increase. Yeah, from 20. If the original was actually five thousand, you're still quadrupling. I'm telling the world right now. I don't know where that is. Please and tell. Okay. Can you ask no, the I audience can't. why because not? You're, you're communicating with them. So what no, the heck I'm not. I say? Yes, you are. Actually, I am not. I'm you trying to get did. this work done. Okay. That's your thirds of amendments. Try harder if that's the case. Okay. Um, Iron Spring is fine. Then we added the Wiswall, that's fine. Wiswall or Kelly Park? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Wiswall. We Wiswall's gonna be at 25, Kelly Park's gonna be at 17,450. Yay or nay on that? Uh, but the contractuals, what should be at 17,450. Let's see. Sorry. From where are we? Kelly Park oh, contractual should be 17,450. It's not well, I had. Minute. Contractuals at eleven four fifty, and then increase by six thousand um, the equipment to twelve thousand. It's but that's not accurate. It's Why? For, it's not for paving. Well, it's for, for other equipment. But, but not, aren't they going to be by? That's not equipment. That's not equipment. That is contractual. The way we do it, it's minor supplies. It's not what? paving. No, we're well, not doing. It's not the paving. basketball hoop. Yes, that's, that's, that's not equipment. No, it's a supply. It's contractual. It's not viewed as okay. equipment. Okay. What about? Are we going to? Put the new chain link around it, or yeah, they feel the uh, fencing is viable right now. Uh, okay. DPW. What is yeah, equipment yeah. based on how much it costs and how long it lasts? Basically, yeah. So, yes. how, what's the minimum cost? I don't know exactly the number, but it didn't qualify for small items like this. It, it, we force really? it. Okay, that's, that's okay. Okay, it's increase. It's like building improvements. And increase stuff like that. Uh, right. a seventy-one forty-five point four youth to thirteen thousand. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to make sure that youth center contractual. You understand that you had double double eliminated that five seventy, and that's why it was at fifteen thousand. Because you tra kept trying to drop the fourteen four thirty. The ACC, I brought back up to its your figure. 15. I'm just making sure. I'm just, just double checking. Where, where's the ACC? Here? It's youth center contractual 71414. Okay. That's back up to 1210. No, 12,100. 12, 12, that's your, your request. No, your tentative. no, 15,000. Oh no, that's above. That's BAC. I confused. Yeah, yeah. BAC is at fifteen thousand. Bark is at twelve thousand one hundred. Where not, you had them? Not thirteen. No. Okay. If they ask for. Well, no, you do something else later that would. Oh no! It, no, now the youth. No, we do raise that one thousand. Sorry. Mm -hmm. We we put a thousand in there for the after prom. Oh, after prom. Right. That's right. We increase that one that one thousand. Okay, I have funds for that. Um, <laughs> the next one is. I love how we go shopping. <laughs> well, I mean, so you know, when you say eighty nine twenty five, where do you put the money? That's a thousand dollars for the eighty six seventy five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, for celebrations, again, something that was. Tell me about flags. Don't help her on this one. Tell I had five, 500 for flags. Do we need more than that? We had 2,000 of flags for a reason, you realize. How many flags is that? A lot. <laughs> How many flags? Did we spend 2,000 or did we did have we 2,000? We spend 2,000. Every year? Yes. What kind of flag? That go on the banners? American flags. New York they State don't last flags. a year? 
Liz, you replace your flags for parades and events. These, like are, on a, these are on the poles. These are on the uh, uh, light standards mm -hmm. and on the uh, Veterans Park. So you want to take this number up by 1,500? Well, flags need to, is what I'm trying okay, to tell you. I, I have no idea why you would ever do that. Well, because I didn't think you needed to spend that kind of money on flags. But if you need another 15, put 15 in there. Add that to the 25,700. So you're 27,200 now. Is that what you're saying? Uh, hold on. Let me make sure the math. Oh, God. Come on. Not working here. You're still minus 4,800 on my accounting here. So wait a second. 20. I thought you said we were balanced. We were. What? You're taking I, things backward out now. So I'm yeah, saying you're so minus. So it's 27,200 for um, celebrations, which so, is which is a significant increase over okay, 18 wait, to 11. Let's, let's stop with that whole thing and now talk about the actual numbers here. So you're taking banners down by... Well, remember oh, we had banners less, in the other category too. Right, we fixed that actually. So the banners are 2,500 for ask uh, there. Right. Uh, it's not even asked. This was banners general, I think. This wasn't even asked. Well, banners. who does the banners? The, the village, in some cases, does. Well, okay. So, so Memorial Day is. speaker, it, 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 we're the not speak talking about somebody who talks. We're talking about a the speaker's a thousand. A, so right. a piece of equipment for events, basically. Oh, you had four thousand here? <laughs> no. Oh, a thousand. He asked for a thousand because we don't. I have no do, idea why we don't do the 4, Memorial Day parade. So there is no. All right. It's to get right. well. Okay, let me bring this up to you. They're going to be asking us to put some funding back into it soon. I did get that from their meeting with me on Sunday. Well, they didn't request what, it this I'm, around. Well, next year they're going, they're well, going to do an interim year. request, just so you know. So for okay. what cost? Something. It just they want to know what the budget process was and the timing and what about next year if they well, want to. So just okay. be aware of that fact. I'm telling you right now. Holiday parade, fifteen hundred. Holiday. The core, 2,500. So instead of 4,000? Yep. 500? Yep. Um, egg hunt, 1,200. Swimming under the stars, 4,000. Flags, now 1,500. So swimming under the stars was, was an uh, underrun last year that we had to end up spending more on, you realize. What was the original ask for it? 5,300, and that included t shirts and everything else. With well, we found some slack. We got 7175. You can put more into swimming and stars if you like. Okay. So 285 now would be the number at top, right? We're bringing swimming stars to 5,000? 5,300 was the original. Yeah, I think that's the proper ass based on what we know about that event. Okay. Yeah. Flags we brought to 1,500. Family fun day. It's apparently the only real deficit scenario here for what's left. Right. Um, I think. Can I bring up another thing again? Sure. You're going to hate this. This is 350 people don't pay to work on time every six months, right? That's what you're telling me, correct? They don't send in there. Right? So it's, okay, so twice, that's $35,000. Can we maybe increase that line to like No, because it, it, he, I mean, well, we, the we, actual we, number we was- nice Peter, Peter, can you I be- You were there, Ben, you were there, you helped. Didn't you see all the people that were there showing up that you were there, right? No. No, I wasn't there. So. You guys yeah. seen how many people well, really put a ton of people. It's, and it's yeah, it's a nice event. The thing is, I, if we raise the rates and more people, no, no, the rates are taking the fees. The no, fees. no, that if we raise the fees to try to convince more people to pay, they may start paying and recording. No, 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 no raise the fee. You can't. You can't say raise your revenue line. No, the revenue line is fleas we collect yeah, because you people. Put I think you're only putting in twenty. So can we put in twenty five or twenty six? And give it well, well, you've got to, as he, as he okay, said, you know, you no, he, he says we should, you know, look at revenues conservatively. I understand what he said, but I think he's going too conservative. Well, here, here's my fear, Peter. I found $110,000, right? Mm -hmm. I've replaced there all the divots. Basically, and, and the divots basically got re-put into certain things, despite the fact that divots were replaced. So... 
I go put that extra revenue in, but come Monday, it's they're going to take it back out of certain categories again. 12, it doesn't matter how much 12, I find 000, or what we do to raise so revenue at this point. And they it want goes, it goes out the other end yeah. every time. So just to let you know, Family Fund Day had a 4,000 increase in its budget from last year. I understand, but it's a lot for a one day event. I know, and I wasn't. It's and, all yours. And, and, and we're done. I just okay, hope. that's we're fine. We have we have some other people who would so like to happens. run it. There's so many people, well-income people. There's so much happening. Yes, no, it's a good event. Well, I hope it happens. I I think it, I think you can do something nice for twelve thousand five hundred dollars. But you know, in all honesty, Pete, yeah. if you really want to help economically disadvantaged children, we should take that money and all our celebration money and donate it to a local food pantry for food insecure low, because that would have a far better, greater impact than one day of bouncy houses. Yeah, I don't know. No, I mean, the one thing that I think they, yeah. they did very well is, is have school supplies. I, the, a lot of the plastic stuff yeah. is is really not very sustainable and wasteful and kids play with it a little bit and then throw it out but school supplies is something poor children children are, don't have you know their parents don't have a lot of money don't go on vacation either this is like a vacation for them why did you toss winterfest by the way Hmm? Why did you talk? Because we're not holding it, it anymore. Never happened. <laughs> it's not happening it was, uh, with it. With the it was intended to uh, twice. It was a weather issue. It's that's the made. problem. It's a weather issue now. But also, it, 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 it's it's never really cost money before, other than DCW. Yes, I mean, what's the yeah? And we don't and we don't supplies up there. It, it, well, well, we, we don't account it, for the fact that it costs DPW. A lot of time and overtime. Well, they do don't it. do that in any of the events. They, yeah. any of the, it, it, not, yeah. not for nothing. They actually enjoy that event. It's the DPW. That's something yeah. they actually got excited about this year. That they. Yeah. Well, I would, I would be excited with OT too. So. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. But it seems like it's a five hundred dollar event. They're saying with co hot cocoa. It doesn't I mean if it even happens. It's just thousands. So of it would. The attempt was to make it a staple event at this point to put some tents on either side of the hill and have some food gathering and some more intent station crafts, crafts. crafts. so that was the intent to well i think the whole nice idea of, of putting moving snow onto that street i mean it sounds very nice but it's not really very practical yeah. given the climate change Climate change. Oh my God, we're budgeting for that too. The well, county provides the snow, Liz. Okay, we, we have well, some, but, is the, but the county provides it. But the, but we can't Maybe. count on the there being snow. The county cooperates with us and provides no. the snow. That's how, on the hill. That's how it gets done. That we work in tandem with the county. It's always been a great uh, collaboration. I would prefer if we did something like on the another field or something. And I mean, I've seen winter fests where they, they hire you know, a sleigh to take kids around and the skating and other things like that. But, you know, the businesses in that area do not like this event. Interesting because the most requested event, most requested event I had for the last year was the sledding on the hill. Swear to God, the people, uh, uh, the um, teachers uh, and homeschoolers and whatnot came in. Uh, and this was the number one thing where we doing sledding on the hill. I swear to you, it's like in the answer. How yes. many people? Plenty. Well, there, there's but been, there've been people. Player. There've been people when um, there's snow. Right. Right. But that's why. Do it. Um, so right now, banners twenty five hundred, Memorial Day speaker one thousand, holiday parade fifteen hundred. Holiday decor 2500. Let me see where that something's not right here. With Acon, one of these we've numbers. got, I think, uh, a thousand from Milton, right? Acon's 1200, but again, you have to show the plus and the minus. Right. Uh, swimming under the stars 5300, flags 2000, family. No, no, day. 1500 for flags. No, the number is 2000, Liz. We need oh, 2000. You added 50. Yeah. Oh, okay, 2000. All right. And family fun day 12.5, what's that? Yep. What's, what's the cash for holiday parade other than staffing? Do we not do a donation yeah, to uh, BSBPA for it? I'm trying to remember uh, what is our obligation for it. 
I believe we do do a donation on that parade. Because yeah, it's not because it. it's run by BSPPA. Right. <laughs> they should put it in there. Dana, yeah, Dana uh, has her hand up. Actually, okay. good timing there, Dana. <laughs> Go ahead, Dana. Hi, I'm here. Hello. Hi. So, just for history, um, so you know, yes, the BSPPA does organize the holiday parade, but it is very much a partnership with them. Um, the village and that 1500 often will go like um if we can't get a tree donated it'll help with that um it will help with like if we have to rent barriers you all saw how many people were there this year we need to figure out some more crowd control things and then also in the past um those big electronic signs that are put at the entrances of you know 67 and coming into town from saratoga we put those up like three or four days ahead of time to warn the traffic it's going to um, slow down and those if we can't get them donated or from the county are about six hundred dollars a piece to rent and so traditionally when we've had to pay for it we've split the cost with the dp or well with the village um because we, we get so you, don't, you don't always get those donated and some days some years you do and some you don't some years we do some years we don't it depends on um it just depends on the availability, how soon we ask for them. Um, if we don't get them requested in time, they get put in storage and then we have to rent from a private company. Okay. So what so, figure are we up to on celebrations? Right, I had, had Dana, to... anything else you want to add to it while we got you? Just to make sure I'm not cutting you off from anything else you want to say? No, I just wanted you to know that that's what that money is for. It's just... Um, you know, we, we, we raise money for it, but because it's a partnership, we sometimes go over depending on the, the, the need for that particular year. Sounds good. Thank you. So what was the additional ask? Uh, one sec. Right now I'm at 28.5 total, I believe. So it's a plus 3,500 category here because I had balance of 32, just as an FYI. So 28.5, I think, is fine, right? I'm fine. OK, so where are we at on balance? $12,000. $12, $12,000 $12, more. You have $12,000 in your pocket right now. OK. You'll be frisked on the way out. Yeah. <laughs> Adult recreation, I believe you went up to the 11.5 in the end. Yeah. Uh, zoning and planning personnel services. We have on the actual worksheets this these numbers of seventy six eighteen, based on what our conversations were. And you keep trying to bring it back down to seventy two eighty three. I'm not we're, sure why. We don't want to give them five hundred bucks a meet. So no, that wasn't what we were doing. That was the request originally. No, no, no. We yeah. did the math here of what it would cost to give the increases, the normal increases. And then Kathy, as the stipend situation, we right. said we were going to match. 40. We were going to match. Basically, she's doing work that's akin to the chair's work per se. So we were matching that number, and that's why it appeared in there that way. And that math gets you to seventy six eighteen on both of these. So that Which includes a two point five percent increase yes. for all the personnel, yes. plus a part time clerk of the stipend matching the fee that what chair. What's does. the number? Whatever's on that worksheet, Liz. Uh, well, I up. had um, one moment, please. It's taking it up about you know less than four hundred dollars, three hundred thirty-five dollars. Right, oh. I couldn't understand why you keep changing it back. I, I keep because well, you know, I it's thought right it had, <laughs> had those outrageous increases no. for for payment. Mm -hmm. Now the um, clerk number is equal to the planning board chairs number 1677 for the year so how much is that a meeting uh 139.75 uh, from uh, per month it okay looks like. i'll take i mean it's a 335 dollar yeah. increase i just say i one. think again a, you can take that up to right. so again it remains balance on mine here so uh okay Okay. Uh, and then take community beautification. Uh, I took down just minor because they don't do the watering every day. 
Dana, do you have any info on that one? Actually, I should have kept you on. I forgot that that was coming up. What, what is going on there to the degree that you can talk to it? Uh, if you could raise your hand, if you do want to give me any info, thank you much. Allow, go for it. Um, we we budget to water every day just because we do not know um, what the weather is going to be like. Um, and we spend a lot of money purchasing these plants. So we just don't want them um, to die. And we have it budgeted out specifically for our specific adoptive plot um, plots, which I would be happy to send over to you. Yeah, but we did ask you to handle the watering of Wiswall and you said no. <laughs> well, we said no because we are not, um, we are our own nonprofit. We are not part of the Friends of Wiswall Park. And that's not one of our plots. And um, quite frankly, it would it would cost more um, for us. And, it, and I did see that our budget was cut, so it just doesn't do the math. Well, um, it, it got cut the last, the recent time only 400, but I think... 8,000, I mean. Well, hold on, that's not all that. Well, yeah, it's only, well, 1,000 for um, Friends of Cateros. And 1,000 for? Only Friends of Cateros. Oh, yeah. So the rest, and, and Dana, I mean, I know plants. And back when we used to do the hanging baskets, yes, you had to water them every day because they don't hold much dirt. But you're not doing that anymore. And but, but excuse me, just one second, Liz. I've heard you say a few times that you have to budget for it, right? And if you don't use it, you don't use it. And so that's what we've asked for is a budget for us to water every day. And that also includes plot maintenance. We have to fertilize. We have to replace some soil. We have to, um, you know, put some chips down. There's there's other maintenance that they have. Yeah. This is not a, it's as a nonprofit, like this is not a profitable um no, I mean, you're actually doing, you know, it for the village. I just think right. budgeted but, amount is ex in excess. And particularly since you're not willing to, to you know, Wiswall. It's not that we're not willing, but it's Friends of Wiswall Park in our eyes is almost the same as the gar the gardening club that takes care of the, the Trestle mm -hmm. Garden yeah. and the library. And they water those themselves. They don't ask us to water yeah. those. Well, it's just not in our budget or our time scope for our water. So we well, would just the, like the to only people, the only group that drives the water truck around is 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 the people that actually they work for the village now, which is the way it should be. They used to work for you, whatever. That was a little strange because I was on the adopt the block committee and handled the payments to to the part time workers and. My own personal feeling is that watering is maintenance of village grounds and the village should pay to have anything that needs watering, water just like they pay somebody to mow the land ground. They don't chop it up. The fact that clubs like the Boston Spa House and Garden Club, which I'm a member of, by the way, you know, maintains it is free labor. Just like anybody else that volunteers here, but I. But they I, also they also water it too. No, but I don't think they should have to. Mm -hmm. Frankly, I think that the village should take care of that as a maintenance activity. Frankly, give them their seven thousand dollars. You're 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 trying to make a point for four hundred dollars right now, and it's really not. But a I have I have seventy six hundred in here. I, yeah, I'm so saying give it to yeah, eight thousand. It's, it's sixty six hundred. Okay. But I would like, I would like, if it, we're going it, to hire. 8,000 is what yeah. I have on here to balance. But you know so, so don't, it doesn't affect me here. It, so it was decreased by less than, than 10%. And it would do no harm to water uh, one, miss one out of 10 days. But the preference is we fund you a full amount for everyday watering, which is not needed. Um, if you include Wiswall, that was the request. I think it's a reasonable request. Um, you know, we'd, we'd like to make this a collaborative thing where we pay you more than we think is necessary for this watering, but it's with the understanding that you are also going to expand your services. Um, I just don't think, you know, we, we pay for what we think is needed, not just what's requested. 8,000 is still under what's requested on that line, by the way. It was 7,000 so, is what they would be getting. They requested 7,900, Dana. Was that the original ask? 
I I don't have it in front of me. I know that. I know we're on seventy six hundred. I know. And last year you spent seventy three, you know, seventy four hundred. So this is an increase of six hundred dollars, and I think that if we're going to contract with Adopt the Plot to do watering, just as we contract with somebody else to do grass mowing, you should do what's needed. What because you have that water truck, which makes watering. Otherwise, you've got to rely on volunteers to drag hoses. I think this is four hundred dollars. Quibbling about this, I don't think is a good idea. Yeah, but for seven thousand, can you please uh, water with? Well, it sounds like we need to monitor this, correct? Well, we need to have watering done. Yeah, anyone who received your request, requests, I took it down to eight thousand. I didn't hear many complaints about doing that, Dana. So, would seven thousand be acceptable uh, if I we popped you from? Would Luz is wanting to do sixty six hundred? Get you back up to seven thousand? No, I'm not day? doing sixty six hundred. I had my latest budget right. had seventy six hundred. It only no a thousand. Oh, that's that's like thousands of okay, yeah, I know thousands. Of, okay, but so um, I will, well, sixty-six hundred would be fine. Seven thousand would be fine. But I will tell you that I am, I am the BSVP executive administrator, but I have no um, authority over decision making. So that will go back to um, our adaptive plot committee and our board of directors and they will let you know um yeah but i think i think we ought to consider as a board dana we have, we have a consensus right now for eight thousand dollars total which is seven plus one okay? yeah okay but, wait what's the one thousand for friends of the chaos yeah, that's, 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 that's counting that yeah all right but for the line we are yes for the line it's eight thousand a thousand so really right but at least uh, my request is that you you uh ask your board to cover Wiswall if you're going to be paid that uh, generously for watering every day. That's that's what I'd ask. I will certainly take it to the board and um, they can put it up for a vote and I can let you know by Friday. I can't, I just can't make can my decision. Can we cut it if they, if they don't agree? <laughs> I mean, if that's, if that's what you want to do, um, then, then we it's can. It's a lot of money for what they're doing. They can add Wiswall. Did they say every other day Wiswall is fine? Yeah, no, they don't right. need every. Nobody right. needs every day. Right. No, there's no plan for the I, I, I plant every day. huge amounts of flowers. They I do my not. Taxes before this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I do not. The first no, no, for for that. you water every couple of days when you first put the plants in, and then it tapers down to yeah, right to but, maybe once or twice a week. Right. But last August you would have to water. Almost every day or every other yeah, day. So it's harsh. It was yeah, but average, <laughs> your okay. average so, amount of watering is Dana, not every day. Thank you. Even when it's hot, you can do everything. Appreciate yeah. your okay. time again. Yeah, thank you. And again, I'm not, I can't commit to the to Whistwell Park. I I just can't. So I will. We get it. Uh, we get it. We get it. We get it. it. Okay. To the board, and I'll let you know. Yep. Appreciate. So it. where are we thank at? You. Okay. I, I need to go back uh, for uh, and Ray. I see your hand. I, give, give me one second. I have, Three items I kind of skipped over by accident uh, when I went to the next page. Uh, seven, nine, eleven uh, on the originals here. Uh, first, the Vilch Hall stuff we'll talk about in a second. I'll be toward the end. So, eliminating that for just this discussion. Um, police contractual for the ten thousand for bulletproof vests. Yeah, I think you reinstalled that and went to found out for bulletproof vests. Correct. Eighty four two fifty and which, which one? Where are you? Thirty one twenty point four. What number on your piece of paper? It was the old nine. I don't know what it turned into. Uh, she may have she may have removed it entirely, and so that would tell me that she went back to the original amount. I, I don't remember seeing it now. You just said that actually. I'm just okay, police, I just want to account right, for it so here. Police was the same total 80, of well, you, you 84 250. Right. The nine's missing because you went you went ten there in the minus technically and then got ten thousand back from the vehicle so that's why you're seeing it as unaffected. Yeah, but my it number affects, has, it affects the categories. List. My that's why my that. number total is seventy two two thirty one, which is your number in the tentative budget. Seventy two two thirty one what? Total. For police, seven hundred. You mean seven hundred, seven hundred fifty-two thousand two thirty. Okay, so 30. you went plus ten minus ten. I I actually have to show that that one category one. No, it's now the, the, the categories 10. are all the same as yours. 
No, bulletproof vest was in <laughs> contractual or equipment or something like that. I can't remember. Well, it's contractual. Yeah. yeah. If they if you need to move it, that's fine. It, it doesn't yeah. change the I, bottom no, line. No, I just I, I'm making sure I, I'm accounting for it correctly because I don't want to hear on Monday where why'd you do that or something like that. So okay. okay. Uh, publicity contractual. Did you keep at fourteen five yep. uh, now instead of thirteen? Yep, I've restored that with your extra funding. Okay. You found. Ray, why don't you talk? I'm going to do some computations in the meantime while you <laughs> talk. Uh, but I will be listening, and you are good to go. Ray, are you there? Unmute. Yes, you are. There you are. Go ahead. Um, I just wanted to throw throw something at you guys. Uh, the not literally. Um, yeah. The events for this village do not just bring in people that are milling around and the poor people and, and all this that I've heard you talking about. Those folks also bring in uh, donations that go to the not-for-profits that set up food stands like the Lions Club, the Rotary Club, and others. They bring in more visitors to the uh, village. All these things that you're saying, well, they should be able to throw a, a, a decent event. How about a great event? You know, we don't want to do just a decent event. And then uh, I have one other one other question. Did I or did I mishear that there's going to be $150,000 committed to Wiswall Park this year? Not this. No, there's eventually about that was my estimate a few years ago to redo Wiswall Park, to redo the, the walkway to move the fountain, to do a new pavilion and do a, a fountain pavilion. That those were the numbers that we worked on together, if you remember, Ray. I don't I don't remember. So, and I'm sure you got them down, but no, again, those, those first, were a, a rough estimate of what oh, it I would cost. You. I believe you. I just want to make sure I heard right. Right. Um, but what is the purpose of that, of doing that in our downtown? Because it's the center of our downtown. It is the place everybody that goes downtown goes to it so currently it, it, it looks it's important it's yeah important it's important it, for it, the people that come into the village to see that right it's important as as a centerpiece of our village right for and the folks that come to visit and you and want people a nice that, place. that frequent the restaurants many of which if it's a nice day like to do takeout and currently there's no, only benches and they can't I'm, and I'm we wanted to create this. i mean we worked on this a few years ago i know i'm agreeing with you but my point is if we're trying to enhance the downtown area why don't we want to enhance events that bring people to the downtown area i don't get it it, well, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense because we're saying we, well, are, we, want, it we pretty, are but we want it to be just for certain people no we are we gave raise significant raises that. for all of these I, we I, just I didn't that. give the whole amount that people asked for well family fund asked for 16 7 out of uh yeah, and, here, and it came down to 14 right. to, yeah to, because to it's, it's a very, very, very large service. sum for a one-day event correct it is it's it's way too much we shouldn't we shouldn't be putting that much into it um, well, we're I, putting well, a lot I, into it, but not I, to the extent that they asked. I think twelve thousand right. five hundred bucks. We could have a very, very nice event. Are you willing to help budget that? Based, ben? On, based on how much things cost. Are you Are you willing to help budget that, Ben? Budget it. Are you willing to sit down and budget it? Sure. And look at the numbers. Yeah, we. There are people who have already. No, said no, 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 no. Do I'm it. asking. Let, I'm let's asking not forget, ben. Ray. Let's not I forget that ben. there were sponsors too. To what that. is Ben's answer? Ben, right. are you willing to sit down and go through what the budget is? Yes. But you are. Okay. That's, remember, that's Ray, we don't know what the budget is until you find out what the private sponsors contribute, which was you know a significant amount of money. No, no, no. The budget is what it's going to cost. It doesn't matter where the money's coming from. The budget is what it's going to cost. I just think that Ben should get a realistic view. He says you can do it for cheaper. So let's- No, let's we're not doing yeah. it for cheaper. We're giving more money than was given last year. There's cheaper than some, what was asked for. There cheaper seems than be, what is less money than what was asked. Yeah, so guess okay. what? When you so do a budget, do you always give 
everybody what they ask for. When you do a project, Ray, I know in, at least in construction and engineering and anything else, um, you find out how much money you have and you do the project, you budget the project according to the money you have. You don't create a project and then try to figure out where you're going to find the money. Okay, because that's exact. what you're saying is exactly what I did when I budgeted for the uh, new ambulance building up in the town of Milton that we pulled out of the village. I budgeted, I, I went to the contractors to say, what's this building going to cost me? Then I went to the bank and secured the funding. It wasn't the other way around. I didn't go to the bank and say, hey, can you give me $2 million? All right, now what kind of a hut can you build you for $2 million? Dollars? Make that way yes. I mean, maybe I got I mean, it wrong. I, I don't think you're going to take out a loan. Not quite um, as far as you folks. I, I, I know it's a state. We're, we're confined to a budget. We get a budget, and we have right. to do what we can do with it. I, I like totally any get other government you understand what I'm saying. Find. So this, the, <laughs> the budget is going up by about 50% from 8,500 last year to... 12,500 this year. And you keep you keep harping on percentages, but if you look at the dollars in the grand scheme of things, it's really not all that much. All right, two more points so I can get to bed. Um, <laughs> Us I, too, we'd like to get I, to bed too. You've been talking about the winter fest. We shouldn't do it, it's weather related. Why don't we budget for the winter fest? And if we don't get the snow, let's do a soapbox derby on the hill. We used to do that in the village and people loved it. In the winter? Yeah. If you no, we're not snow. in the winter. Well, if, well that's the winter spring. fest. If, if you didn't have to change it sometime you change around. The time. You do it to a, a, a time when the weather is pleasant. And yeah. you just move the money from one place to the other. Look, look. And as far as the watering, Liz, well, let me make the point. As far as the watering is, you, you keep bringing up, we pay somebody to mow everything. Well, if you go to somebody and say, I want you to mow all the parks in the village, and all of a sudden you add two more acres to it, they're gonna want more money. So if you're adding work to those folks to water, they're gonna want more money. That don't even Yes, well, but they, they're not doing the, hanging the, baskets the, anymore. The and now, that was a tremendous amount of work and it required watering every day. So they're doing day. less work now and they want, they want more the, money? The, the, the yeah. analogy would be well, right. I wouldn't that, even have them do it. I would, the I would contract your own. I would contract your own. I would get rid of, tell Danny you don't want the business association to do it. That would be my move. Okay, hey, everybody have a good night and You're right. thank you for letting me speak. Yeah, thank you, be well. I was gonna say the analogy would be, they wanna get paid to mow the lawn every two days and we're saying, no, you don't have to mow every two days. You can mow every four days or whatever. Okay, let me let me go back here to I, I've gone through all the original second set of amendments thing. I don't know if you added anything else to the third set of amendments. That no, I, didn't I think I've gone by. through through everything that's uh all of these we've gone through. Then Yay. I mean I I, I sort of have to do it that way right. to say it that way because it has been a in Unnecessarily no, arduous process. Yeah. Well, okay. well, budgets are not like this. this yes, is, this is budgets crazy. are, are this difficult. Is crazy. No, it's it's the the way things are. People ask okay, for a so, lot of money, and you got to balance it. So, okay. Um, before I go back on this and play that game, um, so anything talking about F fund at this point, we're not doing correct. So correct. that takes out. Transfer 24, uh, that takes out, okay. The park and tree reserve fund that you have here, we know that we're just doing the Woods Hollow money to a 962 and then figuring out what to do there. So that's gone for this uh, purpose. Uh, we have to add the- Let's wait for one Village second. Hall. Yeah, let's, I'm wait, saving that for last here, basically. I just want to take care of what I can knock out of this. Uh, F fund, water, no. fund. Okay, so the geyser road well generator. We know the ARPA funds are in there and they have to be used for ARPA. I wouldn't even put the figure in here. I would just basically say when we're ready to do it, we've got to get pricing. No, I disagree. I Liz, think if we don't we're going, know what the price is. Then we put in an estimate. You're putting, but you're also uh, encroaching on ARPA funds at that point in a way that no, we're gonna. We only have a year left to spend these things. I know that's why it should be in the budget. 
the estimate of the cost should be in the budget because we are going to spend. It's not going to affect your budget one way or the other. It doesn't matter. It needs to show in a budget because you're spending money. And that's what the comptroller's auditor told me. He says, if you plan on spending money, even if it comes from your fund balance. Well, or it makes sense. Why not do that? Because you don't know what the number is even close right now. We're getting numbers everywhere from 99 to 125. Or so you put 125 in and if you, you don't spend it. In. You put 150 <laughs> in, but then now that's less ARPA you can spend on something else, no. right? No. It's not so technically. Reserved. The thing is, ARPA, you're going to take it out when you know the final number. That's what's going to come out of ARPA. No, actually, what you've done historically, and this is where really things got convoluted with trying to track ARPA, is you didn't always fully fund a project with ARPA. You did some kind of split the baby thing in about three of the four expenditures that we tracked back. And so I'm looking at it, and I'm like, I don't know why that decision was made. I'm not sure where it, it happened but multiple put times. in the estimate in the budget and take it out of fund balance where opera is sitting right now and show the people that you're spending that money and you're going to buy the geyser wall water yeah i mean geyser road generator estimate that, I think, that is I think, what I was think you over, I think you overestimate what the people are going to be looking at. <laughs> well, I'll this, tell you. The people are going to be looking more I'll at a meeting where we vote the, on it. The comptroller, the, the auditor I talked to said, if you're going to spend the money, doesn't matter where it comes from, you got you should show it in your budget. And that's that's why, a why philosophy. Not show it? You're just saying because we don't know exactly what it is. Well, yeah. and, and this, this will take us this will take us to the uh repairs question too, it's, I'm getting numbers here from 144 to 250. Now, if you're gonna go reserve fund that thing, I got a real problem with it. If we're going to go out and actually, actually do the spending and out of our pocket, not to do a financing approach, then first off, it's not supposed to go into a reserve fund. It's that just not, he no, said it flat out. I don't think she's talking reserve fund. Well, no. yes, she was originally. I was originally, but now we put the dollars in the estimate, which we think that thing is going to cost conservatively, we take it out. I think it's put, put in 175 budget. because I think that's conservative to the numbers we have. Okay, okay. then put 175, Just put it in. Well, if, uh, here's, here's my caveat. If this thing ends up being more than $200,000 on a bid process, then I think we really need to then take a step back. Then we have to do a that. transfer. That, no, you don't do a transfer because it's in the same fund still. Well, well, you would just do a larger spending out of your fund balance. But that's the question is, what limit do we want to take out of our fund balance for this particular uh, thing versus going to a financing or packaging approach with other things we may <laughs> want to do at that point? That's where my concern is. If we're at $200,000 plus, I think that's a game changer versus well, that's one fine. to 175, I think is much more easy to talk about taking out of our pocket for that. The concept is a budget is a plan. You put in a conservative amount if you decide. I get that, but you keep <laughs> preaching. It's showing intent. It's showing intent. It well, does show intent. intent and if you here, decide to finance it instead, you're not using the whole amount in that year. You're going to add in your debt I service. I get that. It's just so, the question of let's sit here for a second and ask ourselves, this thing is coming up. It needs to be done. What is our approach on it generally? Because we haven't had that conversation, have we? We know it's a number of around 144 plus soft costs. Okay. So is it is it just purchase or is it purchase and installation? It's in this is the number 144 was for infill downstairs mm -hmm. and for retaining wall. Okay, okay we're talking about yes. the wall. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. The, the wall so, and the ball. Yeah, so we have situation. a reasonable estimate of what it's going to cost. What? We put it into the budget. If we decide to finance it. I just want to know what your what? overall view is, because this is part of what we need to do in terms of long-term, long-range capital yeah. uh, planning process is say, what is our tolerance level if we're spending out of fund balance? But when we know we're going we to need to use it. Well, for this, it's, a, it's something of an urgent thing. So, right, but yeah. again, the question is, do you spend it all at once or do you try to finance it so that you have But that doesn't tax? have to I, be just... My personal opinion on this is we, because of the simple fact that if we want to try to get grants in the next couple of years, um, we have to show a lower unrestricted fund balance. It's just plain and simple. We've already lost grants as a result of that. So if we take that out of funds, 
I'd also consider taking the generator out of funds. I'd well, also consider the generator and the sewer. Generators, sewer. Out, generators out of ARPA. That, that, that one's the easy one. For okay. Well, I think the sewer should also be out of ARPA if you replace it in Wisdom. Okay. If I, I didn't argue with you on that, I just said our timing's a little off. We're going to also look at the water pipe where it goes at the same time. Then we got to wait to see where the hell the water pipe's going uh, eventually. Here. That's yeah, well, that's pretty much so understood. We're not going to touch it for 10 years, the water pipe. Oh, you mean the, no, the, the, the whisper part? Yes, oh, yes. Yeah. That got brought up during this whole thing. Yeah, that's, something that's, that's I already yeah. talked to Jeff. That's yeah. not an issue. That's something yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I, 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 let's do the best practice and, and indicate we're going to spend it. And it's not restricted. It's, you know, flexible. and But it does show intent. Mm -hmm. And it also helps us keep track of where things are and how much we're we intend to spend on this and I think it's best practice to show what you plan There's no harm doing this and, and not to not practice. include it just because it's coming out of fund balance because fund balance is the people's money realistically Liz and honestly in this a budget is really an operations budget not no. a capital budget that's no, it's both it's since both. one since one You've never, you never used well, it that way for four, the four years you've been in. Okay. That's because we haven't spent money on capital. That's not accurate. It's not that there wasn't a desire to. I, I, I understand. By many of the board members. <laughs> right. I, I, while I understand that, the, the approach being taken this go around is much different than the approach the last four years. I'm not going to lie in that. But, I've watched it play out. Try, we, this has been percolating for years where people are. So I'm just a lucky winner right, of right. the uh, coffee no, no, here? Or? Yeah. No. You know, just. The, the need it's, for a capital plan. When did we bring okay. that up? <laughs> I want to so, find Rose. <laughs> Sean, when did we bring up but the need for the a capital idea, plan? Yeah, Three like, years ago? All the, we're yeah. moving in the direction well, actually, of the capital plan. Uh, capital planning was brought up in 2018 by uh, Noah Shaw and myself that we need to have a capital plan. The and I brought it up when I got elected. $40,000 fund balance. And we didn't even know if we could cover. No um, offense. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so no. you've had a majority since you've been here. <laughs> no, but the problem is, is we didn't have the numbers, as Bob Fox said. So that's why we right. had to we hurt. Didn't, the fund balance hadn't built up enough to, to actually start doing that. And we didn't have an estimate of what things were going to cost. And that's why but, we hired. But I do want to go back to my original point. You have a $3 million debt scenario coming, I guess, at 4 2. Be careful yeah. just what you do, how far you go with this fund balance being too bloated because one of the things we did do with USDA twice, because there was the question of, you know, were we too big on fund balance? And when we showed Chris Hunsaker what our actual obligations were, he's like, okay, no, you're fine. In fact, we got a 10% grant on the uh, DBW equipment. We couldn't qualify for a grant because uh, when you throw in for a fire truck, the fact that the fire district is in Boston and Milton, it threw off the low income uh, scenario. That's what gets you the grant with USDA. So we actually cleared that hurdle with USDA, even with the current fund balance levels. But we're still adding hundreds of thousands of yeah. general funds like the, every year. So but the, that's, that's, that, that's going to slow aspects. down. That's actually going to slow down. I, I can no, I showed that, that in the trend. I'm not but talking look. applying for grants. The fund balance is seriously hindering us actually getting it. Well, but the, the irony is What about this water, figure here, projected? Projected excess of seven. That's four million two hundred thousand dollars. Is the answer with that? What? That's what leads to four million two hundred thousand yeah, dollars. That, that's why we're eighty percent of our fund I, I'm, balance. I'm aware of math. The, 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 the point is, next feet. year we did trim fat. We did take a more uh, balanced approach on looking at every line to make sure we didn't have that excess fat in certain areas. And so it may still go up, but it ain't going to go for 700,000. I'm going to tell you flat out right now, it ain't going for 700,000 this year. Well, half of that's water, right? So, nee, give or take, yeah. So it'll go up until we spend Maybe it a on... little bit less because yeah. of the cost this year. Well, I, I think... there, there's a, there's a two-pronged attack here, too, because we have to rectify our situations that we're robbing from Peter to pay Paul. Um, and what I'm talking about is water revenues should be used for water infrastructure with water income is what you mean water yep. income As, okay i, I want to I, I do that to you a lot but it, it, i do right. it with a reason okay water no, i income. understand a lot of people are thinking that you were right. floating nine hundred fifty thousand dollars. the answer is no, no, no we're not that, that, no it's about 300 that. it's so. about 300 but we've been living on that money and we need to wean ourselves oh, wow. off because we do need that money to pay for all those and water then you can actually use a fund that because 
we're not using water revenue that know. should be used for water infrastructure yeah. repairs. I don't know if you ever to get to that point. Really pay for village services. Well, every other village in the capital region that sells water uses fund F. But you, what will end up happening, as Bob told you, is you're going to move F, or move into F, lower your water fees because you have to balance that budget. So you'd be over revenued uh, in no, F. No, we won't be over revenued not with all the repairs. Well, right. eventually the problem is sixty yes, million it's not dollars a, it's worth not of a stuff. Capital we're not fund. going to be over. It's an operation fund, and that's part of the problem well, there. But it, it, I'm sure it, it can't account for maintenance you, and repair. You would have to do it a very right specific process. And remember, we once you push be, it all into I mean, we're not talking about it, once you just put once you push five in a in a little account. Somewhere. Once you push it into F. <laughs> Yeah. You can't push it back to A ever. Right, right, right. So we're not okay. doing F right now. So but maybe we never. do need to start moving there because this right. situation so so can the continue. F fund F962 is a no go uh, pending possible water capital reserve. So that right. is so, a no for now. Okay. Right. But, but we are, Carla is looking at a water reserve. So, right. or, so that is it won't be F. Yeah, it won't be F. It won't be but a let's just, So let's just put 175 into the building. Well, I'm just trying to get yeah. through what I need to change here, what I'm not changing here. Yeah. Okay, this thing is a no to. So uh, we're not having reserve for building repair, but we're going to put good, money would, in. We're going to just allocate that. Okay. Because so, that needs to happen like now. It's right. over two years so, where he told us we needed to fix those things within six months. Well, generator is down for 125 to be safe. Building is down for uh, 66 front, I should just say, for my purpose here. 175, I think, is what we said here. Are you sure, that's enough. That's for those two. That's including soft costs as of. And that's four or five also for ago. the beam and all the other. It, it was for the stairs, the uh, the vault, uh, a beam, and the wall. If Good. I remember correctly. Good, because that wall is. It, it was 500,000 or something. No, that's including doing a complete renovation of this. Also, edifice and structural repair. Yeah, yeah. that was that was stuff that <laughs> yeah. Yeah. if we're yeah. gonna slap a, a coat of paint on it for nine thousand dollars, that would get us through for. Now. I mean, it's I don't not, mind so. that. The only trouble is, is that's yeah. not to slap a coat of paint on this building without fixing. You, nobody's saying not to do that. It's just I think we owe it to our business district to maybe. Practice what we preach with our look. Oh, our right. No, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, but the trouble is, is it's like putting lipstick on a pig. Well, you're, 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 it, you're putting paint over the, rotten so, wood. It shows the decline. We're looking probably at what, 20 grand to do the restorative work and paint? I think and we need to look into having a separate that. contract. A more, much, mm -hmm. That was where yeah, the number came like out of control. We, yeah. we're, we're, just, we're just trying to at least. It lipstick on piggy all you want, but it's it's at least lipstick. At as, this long point. As, they, <laughs> as long as they scrape off the old before they put on the no, old. I, I, I just can't see spending money just putting to put our numbers up on, a, on, on a building that is rotting. That, well, that hits, it helps slow the rot. I mean, yeah. We don't have any it's, other it's place to go. I would, yeah. I would get alternate. Liz, in I'm other words, what I'm does okay. it take to restore the outside? Paint or no paint? I'm okay. I, I, I'm fine with paint this year. I mean, we paint may need to have a okay. longer term. Fine. I put in ten thousand dollars then for additional. But again, to that, I would. I want. I don't want to spend a lot of money when theoretically we don't even know if we're going to be here. Right. 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 Yeah. We don't know. I, I don't think ten thousand is that huge amount of money in that case. Yeah. Okay. So here we go with the three ten there. Out of fund balance basically right. is what that's being volunteered as, and we are still looking at the fact that give or take, I'll call it a thousand. And oh, please, what time is it? Uh, here it is 12,013. I think we have give or take 13,000 dollars to budget out. That we have excess because you cut things. Then put the ten thousand back in the contract so we can. For what help. reason, Liz? You are because already over we made, in that contract. Well, we don't know that yet. How much do we have? Thirteen thousand. Then. So put the ten. We don't spend it. We don't spend 10. it. 
compromise or a, a, a partner or whatever a collaboration ten in there, and then the, the rest in Family Fun Day. Yeah. So the fourteen thousand dollar number. For, okay. Well, well, okay, but and then the excess of that to cultural back into cultural. Yeah, so. and the ten to the. the Wait, ten, 10 or five? Well, we we went up five. She wanted fifteen. Are you saying another five for that or ten? The sixty, right? Yeah, go up to sixty on that and take the rest and put it towards arts and health celebration. So, okay? so what I'm going to have to do is go through all these. Like, is it like it's going to? No, I, I, it's like uh, it's going to change some things. Thank you, Frank. And, so, but I just I don't want you guys accusing me of something. I'm literally going to take these notes now. Go back to this budget. Uh, Barbara is offered till Friday, so I, I asked her for oh, that. She's gone Friday uh, until Friday, until Friday, so I can work on it in the meantime. Um, but she's out Thursday is the last day or Friday? May. She's she, oh, she's okay. just out this week oh, a couple okay. days. She's doing right. training, right? Yes. So is that really? You already reserved the training, and she's leaving. No, she's training for her new job. Oh, she has the time. You, oh, she has the time. Okay, yeah. good. She's not. No, uh, doing training for no, no, no. Okay, good. So <laughs> my point is that I'm going to enter these. I may come back to you with questions like, hey, number was a little off here, or here's what I'm going to do to compensate the balance on this line. Will you please respond quickly? Because we've had a real issue the last couple of times I've been like, hey, I really need an answer on something, or Jen did. Well, what do you think you'll need an answer for? Like, to figure out how I'm going to do the actual final balance on with this the FICA stuff. and stuff, because I don't know the exact how much number. Well, FICA is going to add. Plus, I got to check the math to make sure all the yeah. math that we're doing on a okay. running total. Well, here. if you need but extra money, you've got that the thirteen thousand, the thirteen thousand to take it out of. Well, but the, we're just talking about. The, I'm going to put the ten thousand back to you said zoning, right? And we, I should really number pages when I print them. Really, but. Um, <laughs> But Pike is going to be very little, right? I mean, it, you know, I'm just saying it's going to throw off the number from zero, no doubt. So I just have to figure out what yeah. that is. Just so, a couple hundred. Yeah. yeah. And then if, if, it's, if it's I have, 3, to, 000, I have to get to zero. No, I know. But what I'm saying is the number we went to, if your if your calculations are accurate, we're just talking yeah, sh a yeah, you think, hey, couple again, hundred we're, bucks. We're doing back the envelope numbers no, but, here. But we shouldn't see like changes of $1,000 or- You might, but it's not going to be much uh, over a thousand type of thing. Okay. But if it has to come out of anything, come take I it out of that. I will talk to you guys take about Take it out of that 3000 Yeah. Because yeah. I think we, I think this okay. budget's given everybody not <sighs> exactly face. what they want, but pretty- Darn close, but I think yeah. we need to really do a capital plan and do some long range planning because you 100%. saw those charts where it shows our deficits. We're making less and less coal profit each year because salaries go up more, costs go up more than our tax rate increase of 2.25%. I mean, just look at what was inflation this year. I mean, I was wondering, not to start a whole new, but if we know our taxes have to go up in the coming year, should we portion it out? Absolutely. Um, yeah. I mean, should we even increase this year, not to mess up? That was the question I brought. Maybe it's too late. Oh, come on. <laughs> do that too. <laughs> no. Too well, late this year. Incrementally, do you know what it really means at the end of the day? What? Remember, every percent is eighteen thousand eight hundred dollars. Right. It's, so it's nothing. But right. you wonder that you'd have to increase at three percent a year for a number of years. Like if we're eighteen percent in a hole because of water revenues, if we read it three percent every six years, to, you know, in six years, now we've taken ourselves off off of, of leaning off the water fund. So, yeah, that, I mean, it's almost like you are allowed with the tax cap to go up another percent. And, and I think and don't forget only if your assessment survived the 17% well, increase assessment in one year. No, I mean that survived. that was my point. <laughs> wow. The actual dollar impact of going up another percent is very little on the average taxpayer. You know, Lisa I know is on here. I see her right here and she got into a very contentious discussion with me this week about what does she really get for her tax dollar? And when we start rate, talking about raising taxes, you know, it raises that question even more. And, you know, 
Well, we I, get I gave her the, I gave her the best get... answers possible, but mm -hmm. I also hear her. Okay. It's like, yeah. They do pay town tax in certain cases and then that on top of it and everything else that's going on. So you got to be careful with that. Oh, yeah. We don't know. want to raise that. It's just a matter of paying for things because they are costing yeah, but, more. You know, if we keep getting closer and closer where we don't have any excess, that's... Yeah. Uh, well, people have to recognize the fact too, the reason the water infrastructure is the way it is because right. nothing was maintained or Epcot or, or systematically replaced for 15 20 years and so now you have to play catch up whether you like it or not so, and the fact is we haven't touched the buildings yet if we're going to either repair them and again, or replace them that's the another reason, huge pot of money replacement improvement was basically kicked down the road for 15 20 years yeah Okay, and I'm we gonna, gonna make it up. I'm gonna try to read my chicken scratches, get this all together over the next couple of days. Yeah. Uh, worst case yeah. Friday morning, Gina. Yeah, I just want to say something. I'm gonna try to say this as calmly, and hopefully you're listening and you'll understand what I'm gonna say. What we ask for for the events does not cover the cost of the events. I want you to understand that. We fundraise and grab money wherever we can to give this village their events for example family fun day we asked for 17 whatever it was 16 7. 16 7. it came down to 14 it was still within reach that event cost over thirty thousand dollars last year i want you to understand that you did not pay for that event in full you contributed okay we raised the balance that and mark left taking money out of his pocket to make it happen, okay? You need to understand that. Your 12.5 isn't gonna come near with that event cost. It's merely a contribution. And that's what you need to understand. We work hard to get the money to put the event on, on top of what you would give us, okay? Now we, there's added expenses this year, as we explained at the last meeting. We have to use not only the bounce, we don't only just pay for the bouncy houses, we have to pay for the labor because some of the volunteers, that new state, but some of the volunteers left their post. Okay, they wanted to go enjoy it. Some of them were young. <laughs> right, yeah, right. And the pictures that were seen where you were supposing there were only 300 people were because we were all so busy at the height of it that no one had time to take pictures. We were insanely, insanely yeah. busy. I climbed at three o'clock. Yeah, yeah right after down. the so. event, I remember you saying that, you know, the village paid about 8,500, then you raised another 10,000. We raised, it was more the than The event 10. cost 20. Now you're saying no, it's no, 30. No, we told you, Mark told you it was over 30. He did tell Not back then. And, and this 20, is a village event? It's still a lot of money, but this it wasn't was 30. An event that the village contributes to. Okay. Okay. But I still don't understand do where, where, the why the twenty thousand didn't run through the village budget. It, 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 it ran, ran through, through in part. In part, it did. So, ask would go when they were buying things specific for the event. Ask would run it through the village because they are able to go for a not not for profit approach for donations, whereas the village can't. But only eleven thousand ran through the village. Yeah, yes. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yes. So the whole, and so then they the rest they, they, they paid taxes purchases. on. They they would do the purchases. Uh, of their own stuff, but some purchases they ran through the village and replenished the money okay. when they're and anyway, so we, we don't have a full we account. Over the 8, we made the village whole through the contributions that we got. Okay. okay. So the what you and, gave us is what you gave us our our contributions. Julia would call, money. hey, you yeah. gotta okay. bring a check no, blank because we're all you didn't give it to the village. If we once we went over eighty five hundred dollars, we're making purchases. I wrote the checks, Ben. I know yeah. what I paid the village. Okay. There, there's about 1, uh, there, uh, what was it? eleven hundred. There was what was it? Eleven thousand dollars. And total. you gave us eighty five. You gave eighty five. So I had to make you whole on the balance. <laughs> on the eleven. On the yeah. Julie, Julie was but all we, them. We, even we agreed to contribute. We, we, to like contribute. we did not agree no, to the pay. No, the extra three thousand came. Through the village, but you didn't pay the bill back. Yes. yes, yes. For what? For three thousand. So yes. a, bill, a bill would come in for three thousand. A bill would come in for over and above the eight thousand five hundred. Mm -hmm. So Julie would call up Mark or Gina and say, she "Hey, we, we yeah. have this." She all right. come I, in I, and make yeah, it all. Right. Yeah. Big, you know, all right. It sounds really, really convoluted and complicated. Wouldn't it be simpler to ask 
runs the event and we contribute to it and they just indemnify the village with insurance and which it becomes oh, by an the way, ask I event. paid for it. Yes, we are insured and I paid for it. Okay, well, well, so, the so Gina, every yeah. other nonprofit that runs events doesn't ask for it to be completely reimbursed by the village. And I did not ask you to reimburse us. I just, you're, again, you're not listening to me. I just told you, you contribute to the event. I know, the and that's what we're doing. Over and above what you contribute. Well, we'll yes, and, and so is the Lions events, and so are our BSBPA it, events. We don't I'm know. I'm not asking you to fund it in full, Liz. I never did. We never did. We're asking you that we, we're asking for it's, a larger contribution. And we gave you a larger contribution. It's not enough. Well, with the added expenses. Well, now we got another three thousand apparently. Well, no, yeah. Because, you know, we brought, we brought so the, 14, the thing is, yeah, that's pretty good. And uh, put the other fifteen hundred in some marks. Oh, I went outside. So please, uh, please tell me what happened. I think the thirteen thousand uh, dollars, give or take, that we had that I was accounting for when we went through it. this, right, is ten thousand to the zoning back in, and then. The three thousand split fifteen hundred to bring family fun day back to fourteen thousand, and the fifteen hundred to birdhouses to make it ten four twenty five. Oh. oh, that's what we're doing. Oh, sorry, didn't mean, did not mean throw your pen at you. Um, you, but yes. you. That's your choice to put fifteen hundred more into birdhouses. Well, where else was going to put in? Uh, that's, that's where you took out well, the Well, yeah. well you might want to spread it around the banners too, right? Well, I mean, uh, you could. It, we could be the banners up top. If you so. have the money. Yeah. So. So we're but at let me, let me fourteen thousand for family funds. Because I have to report fund. back. So let me get this straight. So hold on. Go ahead. Family fund aid would be at fourteen thousand. I have to do the math to make sure that we're accurate on this stuff. So don't hold me to one hundred percent right now. Family fund aid is at fourteen, roughly. And then I put the other fifteen hundred to birdhouse. Eighty-five. Bird, birdhouse is make it ten four twenty-five for birdhouse. Twenty-five hundred for banners. Our money. Our money. We spent right. eighty-five. Hundred uh, last yeah, year, yeah. and now we're spending fourteen. Fourteen. That's a pretty good increase. Yes, yeah, she's, she's just that's probably just saying. Right right I was trying to explain to you. Yes, it's an increase, no doubt about it. Okay, but everything else is increased. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, so it's my, an eighty percent increase. All right. Okay. <laughs> Why are we the only ones that were percentages out here? I wish somebody would explain that. Well, it's my, a lot of dollars my, too yeah. for my, a one-day event. The thing that I was inflation set. The, the thing that I was uncomfortable last year is that um, it was a village event, but a lot of money was raised. It never came through the village. Like so, we don't have an accounting of how much it actually costs. Right, but we allow this people event. to be able to donate to the event and make well, the tax deductible. But I, I donated. I, right, yes. external to I the think, yes. event. Yes. You know, and we part, spent every penny, trust me when I tell you. Okay, because at that time, I am no longer at, on the board when I was on the board. And at that time, at that time, we were told that you, you uh, the, the event cost 20000 No, it was over. Well, that's what well, we, well you, can, we can you, look you back stated at numerous it. times in numerous meetings that the event cost you $20,000. Nope, that's not well, right. I can know, pull that's the a simple video verification tape. with a video, hey, video hey. a meeting video. So, yeah. so I, we I, don't know what the event costs because we didn't see all the money. You kept quoting but, twenty thousand dollars. All right, let's just the other way at this point. We know it's a costly event. The the what the other right the other thing I was uncomfortable with was were the political banners, and I think we need to avoid political banners. I think we need to avoid political banners. No, if it's going to if you want to be an ask event and the village isn't on it, I don't know how that falls. Not, not on village property. Yeah, that's I think not non for allowed. profits can't do political. Yeah, that's not allowed. So, Will you show me where that's not allowed, Liz. Not for profits can't do that. Show me where that's allowed. I will find it for Thank you. Thank you. Well, I, it's a village I, event. I was I too. It's our property, I our event. So, yeah. Yeah. It's, so um, at I, this point, I would like uh, to invite anybody that has anything left <laughs> to say in the gallery, i.e., the uh, Zoom gallery, especially, uh, raise your hand out of respect. We, yeah. Anybody that wants to talk, please raise your hand right now. Last chance on this meeting, this workshop. Yeah. I see no hands going up. Last call, last call. <laughs> A political organization can can donate. They can't um, advertise. <laughs> 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 like I said, please share right. that to me. Uh, can I get a motion to adjourn this workshop? Uh, Special meeting. Motion. Me. Raymond. 
Second. Basket. Second. <laughs> Aye. At uh, what time? PM. Ten o two PM. All right. All right. All in favor. Favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed. <laughs> So Tonight, you'll right. communicate via email on this? I, yeah. Friday, hopefully, I'm not too bogged down by the 